Well, guys, we're about to start our community match of the round between Golden... Welcome to the Adelaide Footy League's community match of the round. Today, we are broadcasting from Harper's Field for the Gardal Security Division 3 match between Golden Grove and the CBC Old Collegians. We thank our broadcast sponsors, Dartfish, Australia's most used coaching tool, Filming Footy, live stream and match day filming specialists. Sports Interactive, creating better players, one coach at a time. Catch.com.au, screaming good deals. Interchanger, run your interchange like the pros. And Archie's Footwear. Please welcome your commentary team led by Vince Cosme and Tony, the coach's coach, Neil. Welcome from wherever you're listening and watching around the online universe to the Harpers Field out here at Golden Grove for the game between the Golden Grove Kookaburras and the CBC Old Collegian Dolphins and magnificent day we have here today. Sun is shining and as I welcome my co-commentator Tony Neal, we're looking forward to uh, a significant day for the Kookaburras today, Tony. Yes, it certainly is, Vince, and Harpers Field is looking magnificent out here. It's like a summer's day, and uh, we'll get to the weather in a moment, but uh, they are the Kookaburras. I was looking at the scoreboard earlier. I didn't know whether it was a chook or a pigeon or what it was, but it is a Kookaburra, and there's a, there goes a young gentleman in one of the original woolen jumpers there, and doesn't look respectful. Splendid, <laughs> and he's uh, sticking to him, he said. But uh, we're going to touch on that a little bit later. It is an absolutely huge day up here for the Golden Grove Football Club. And, you know, to get a club up and going, first of all, yep. is one thing. But to maintain that and sustain it over that period with some success is also another, Vince. So uh, it is fantastic to be able to bring this game to all the supporters. Uh, we say it every week, worldwide, Australia-wide and so on, of both teams. Yeah, absolutely. And... Uh, mo- you know, from the perspective, obviously, they started here. We've got an interview with the president at Kate Grandy, which Fantastic. we can let everyone yeah. know that we'll play that during the halftime break, um, mentioning, you know, how the club started up with... A, and it was it was really smart the way they went about it. They, they started up with their juniors for a couple of years and then transitioned into having seniors as well. So they were able to then, uh, with some... Some uh, got, uh, some players that were in their in their teenage years actually bring them through uh, to start up with their senior squads and um, as always uh, we had the opportunity to chat to both the coaches before the game so we'll um, we'll cross to uh, those two interviews now and see what both our coaches had to say pre-game. Well, guys, we're about to start our community match of the round between Golden Grove and CBC. But first, we're joined by Golden Grove's head coach, Eric. Eric, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So you guys have had a great start to the season, undefeated so far, but despite the win-loss record, how well do you think you guys have gone? Uh, we're going okay. Uh, we have had a few injuries, uh, missing about seven or eight out of our um, starting lineup, but we are uh, slowly getting back from injury. We've had a few poorer games where we've had to dig deep to win, but I think in the, uh, at the start of the year to get close wins where you've had to dig deep, builds for the later half of the year if, and finals pressure if you're down you've got to work out how to come up so we've yeah it's been pretty good so and in some of those games you've played some finals contenders like Edwards Town and, and North Haven teams like that how much confidence does it give you guys after winning those total games yeah massive amount of uh, confidence to know well that we can play well against good sides um, in saying that all the teams that we played are actually play quite different styles of footy so it's also good to know that we can uh, adjust our game and our, you know, especially our attacking and defensive side of the games to actually match it and then kick ahead. So yeah. And today you face a team in CBC who doesn't probably have the quality as the teams you've faced in the last few weeks. But how do you avoid sort of like the trap game, so to speak, as they say? Uh, it's probably uh, an interesting one. Um, I'm a big believer in in a process, and if we you drill down into the processes of the real basic footy. Win the ball, win the contest, spread with hands, and everything will take care of itself. So we, we drill right down into the process of how we actually, all the core values of what we have as a footy team, win the contest, win the ball, spread with numbers. When they have the ball, it's basic again. Hunt them down, 
win the footy back and turn it our way. So it doesn't change a massive amount. It's just more of a focus on the basics of footy. So, And for yourself, any pre-game, post-game superstitions? Pre-game, I'm not superstitious. I'm more of a habit sort of person. Uh, bacon and eggs on a Saturday morning, put my bets on for the day. Uh, and then into my office at home, work out all our footy stuff. Then we generally go out for a coffee um, or three and then come to the game, kick the footy with my little bloke and then we're into it. So pretty, pretty basic, but the, the bets are most important, of course. So <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for your time. Good luck today. Thank you very much. Well, folks, we're about to get underway in our community matches around between Golden Grove and CBC. But first, we're joined by CBC's head coach, Kale. Kale, welcome. Thanks, mate. Thank you. So, uh, a rough start to the season so far. Despite the win-loss record, how well do you think you guys have gone? Um, well, terrible because we're one and five or whatever it is. But, mate, we um, we struggle a bit with injuries and we're young, so we're realistic in where we're at a bit. Um, but also we want to be more competitive than what we are. So um, that's the challenge going forward, to be more competitive and hopefully get a few wins in the back half of the year. So with that, what's been the main focuses at training that uh, you've really focused on to try and improve? Um, we've changed the way we move the ball uh, slightly in the last few years um, just through clientele um, and we've got a lot of young kids that just aren't used to senior, fo senior footy so we've done a lot of competitive and um, physical stuff with them which has contributed to the, the injuries a bit but um, short term we'll wear that, long term it sort of pays off a bit. And uh, a huge test today obviously Golden Grove undefeated so far, what's the mindset coming into this one? Um, yeah, they're, they're a really good club and have been for a couple of years. Um, yeah, it'll be a challenge, mate. Um, obviously, a big ground might suit us with our young legs, so um, we're just hoping to be competitive to start with. We've started really poorly, um, and I think if we're in it at quarter time, half time, we're half a chance. So um, they've got two arms and two legs just like us. They're, they're obviously flying at the moment, so hopefully we can be a bit more competitive than we have been. And finally, uh, any pre-game or post-game superstitions? Uh, not for me, mate. It goes out the window when you stand in front of the boys trying to go through their game plan. So I was a bit more um, superstitious when I was younger, but it's been thrown out the window. No worries. I'll let you get back to it. Thank you and good luck. Cheers. Yes, welcome back here to the pre-game brought to us, Tony, by catch.com.au. Screaming, Screaming good, good deals. deals. And just looking in front, we've got all the youngsters, the little tackers here, out to uh, form a guard of honour for the uh, A-grade team. About to head out on the field as they run out onto the ground. Um, fantastic to see the junior footies alive and well. Hello to you, mate. And uh, obviously our, our broadcast today, live filming and match day specialist is uh, Filming Footy, who will be bringing us our broadcast today. So uh, what we'll do now, just why the, the, the B grade has just finished, comfortable win there to uh, Golden Grove in the B grade. The kids are out on the oval to uh, form the guard of honour for the A grade. We're going to go now to um, uh, to some analysis of this game and, and statistics that we have um, uh, put in during the week. So uh, let's have a look at uh, how these two teams uh, uh, have been going. Um, firstly, obviously, the Kookaburras. Uh, they won their first seven games last year before uh, dropping the uh, last minor round game, obviously shortened season. Mm. And uh, we had a... Remember, we had Portland as a uh, uh, as a non drop out. yeah drop yep. out last year, so only a nine, uh, eight game season, um, but then went on to uh, to win the grand final, of course, uh, against Flinders Park, and have started uh, equally well this year, being six and zero. Haven't they? Yeah, yeah really. Yeah, have. six and zero. And interesting, a couple of points that their coach made is that uh, you know they may be six and zero, but there'd been some uh, really close games. They've managed to get over the line there as well. Um, as for the Dolphins, a uh, bit of a similar story for them last year and this year. So they're just um, they're just struggling, but encouraged to hear. Consistent, to hear, Vince, is yeah. what we call it. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, yes. interesting to hear what Kale had to say um, about uh, you know, where he sees they're uh, they're at, uh, etc. As well, um, one obviously one of my favourites, percentage. We can see that uh, uh, last last year they were the. Um, uh, highest percentage ranked side this year, though, despite being six and zero, oh, they've only got the third best percentage in the uh, in the competition. It's They're the only the undefeated top, team, yeah, un yeah the only undefeated the team, which actually alludes to the fact that they've actually had a few close wins, and they haven't actually been as dominant. Um, similarly, with the Dolphins, uh, 2020 and uh, 2021, uh, a little bit better. So their points for and against. 
Uh, very similar there with um, with the Kookaburras. They're uh, uh, scoring a little bit more this year, but conceding uh, similarly. The interesting fact I found with the um, uh, with CBC was was the fact that they've tightened up their defence. Obviously, scoring the same, but tightened up their defence by an average of three goals a game. So, so that's uh, that's uh, contributed to them showing some improvement this year. As we're just watching the. Um, Golden Grove team just come out onto the ground. There's a bit Kookaburra on the yep. ground there, Vince, and a footy jumper. Look there at that. Is. Anyway, we'll <laughs> continue on because we'll, uh, we'll be underway in a few Yeah, moments. yeah. So minor minor round results. Uh, as we mentioned, they went 7-0 and before losing to North Haven. Um, and we did mention last year, uh, averaging those 117 points against was actually the worst defence for 2020. They conceded 72 points more than Plimpton, who didn't win a game. And, of course, their only win last year was against Plimpton in round four. That when they played last year, a comfortable win to, to Golden Grove in round six. And so far this season, uh, Golden Grove undefeated, yet only the fourth highest scoring team. So three teams have actually scored more uh, than Golden Grove uh, this year, despite the fact that they're undefeated. Um, and top, yeah. and uh, the Dolphins' uh, only win this year was against Portland, who are, are struggling. Uh, in round five. So matches, uh, let's look at what they've got coming up. Big one yeah, next week, the grand, one, final, yeah. uh, the grand final re- rematch uh, against Flinders Park. And then they have uh, a couple of games, uh, one against uh, Westminster at home, and then they play Gazer at home, uh, who they beat by three points in round one. And just quickly on that, the coach had a quick yap to us today about uh, wanting to rest a couple of players, and they weren't keen because it's a big occasion. A big occasion today. We'll cover that a, a little bit later about what happens as they're getting their team photo done out there, you know, but yep. it's uh, it's what happens on the ground. So continue on, yeah. Yeah, so, um, uh, and having their photo in their commemorative uh, Guernseys. The uh, matches to come for um, uh, for the Dolphins. Now, look, let's let's be frank. They've got a, they've got a tough, tough challenge against the top side today, but... If they can put up a really good showing, and, and if they could actually come out and spoil the party today, mm. then they've got Westminster and Plimpton, uh, teams around them. Uh, in and They, they could, could win they, two or three in a row. They could actually give themselves a bit of impetus uh, before they come up against North Haven, who, who beat them comfortably in round one. So um, all the statistics are pointing to a one-sided game. It could be... Uh, we, we've been so blessed with the games we've had this year that they've all been in the balance. In fact, decided by a goal. Less. Yeah, we've had um, a couple there. This could possibly be, uh, if it goes to script, a, a game that's not terribly close. But uh, And as I said, Seabock, chance to push up the ladder because uh, three wins has you in the top five at the moment. Well, it's been a couple of uh, colder days, but it hasn't been windy. So, yeah, look, it's a, a great day for football. But I keep saying it every week, Vince, you know, you've got to look at hydration and uh, that could be a factor. The Dolphins, Dolphins in water, you Thank know, you. they're connected. So you just never know. I'm, I'm trying to grab anything <laughs> I can. Um, so, so let's look at some of the keys of the game today, Tony. Yeah, so look, both teams go into combat with a different purpose. Yep. What is the purpose? Why have you come here? So, Golden Grove, 25 years celebrations and a huge day, and we're hearing that in the background and we're seeing it all. That's all great, but will they rise to the occasion in front of their community? Yep. Beware of distractions, yep. because it's really, it's what happens inside the white line. Yep. Can CBC push for a win away by playing as a team, winning the moments, trusting their game plan, and negating the opposition? They've got nothing to lose. So if they give their all, you never know what can happen. And yeah, it's, yeah, we've absolutely. seen this so often, the game will offer this. Either way, both teams must focus on the process and only what happens inside the white line. Yeah, no, agreed. And um, it was actually interesting that that was mentioned by, um, uh, by the uh, coach for um, uh, Golden Grove, uh, Eric Kells, that he yep. said, uh, and it was actually a question that was put to him in the pregame about, you know... Um, they played a couple of the teams right, uh, pushing up underneath them on the on the ladder, and they would uh, have the opportunity today. They he said we've just got to worry about what we do and our processes. Yep, so, exactly. so no, uh, good point. So uh, teams still doing their warm ups at the moment. Right now, uh, we're going to uh, cross to our boundary. We're going to cross to our. Uh, no, yeah. not yet. They haven't tossed yet, I well, don't they think. Done the so. They haven't done the toss of the coin. Teams, so we're still uh, waiting on that. Just a couple of players to watch while we're going through this. Golden Grove, yeah. win, 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 49, 30 and 6. Uh, best players were Pittman, number 6 today. Keep an eye out for him. Ingram, number 35. 
Number one is Shepard and number 22, Jean. And their goal scorers, B. Shaw's been amongst them, number 33, and Banwell, number eight. What yeah. have you got for us, Nick? Yes, well, uh, looking forward to seeing uh, the reigning premiers of this division uh, in action. Um, so we've just seen Golden Grove did win the toss, the king to the left of screen. It's a pearl of a day, 23 top three degrees. Um, and there shouldn't be any effect on, on wind. There's barely any clouds in the sky, so should be a good day of football. Um, and I, I'm sure you guys would have mentioned this, but uh, today, of course, with in line with their uh, 25th celebration for Golden Grove, they're wearing their, their first Guernsey, which they wore in their first season, in their inaugural season uh, entering the Adelaide Footy League. Um, tips. So for the tips, yep. Yeah, I'm going uh, Golden Grove by eight goals. Wow. I'm going 57 points, Vince. What about uh, uh, 87 points, sorry. 87. Wow. Oh, well, yes. I, I was thinking about somewhere in the middle there again, around about uh, somewhere around the 70 point mark, unfortunately. But uh, we'll right see eight. what happens there. Ball's about to be raised up yep. by the umpire. Tony, take us away. And Samuel Wrenchard is in the ruck for Golden Grove here, and I haven't picked up the CBC ruckman. He doesn't go up anyway, he actually roves it, taken high. Little handball out. Can they get the first attack into their 50? It's on the ground as we speak. They're hard at it. i tell you what, we, we might even see a uh, puff of dust come up. Umpire's called holding the ball. Golden Grove, it'll be first into attack. And uh, nuggety little player, nice solid man on his left boot. And that's a beautiful kick forward. Wow. And a great lead as well. Pittman. And uh, very well done there. And that was Pittman, I believe. Uh, Jake Pittman. And he has kicked to a lead here. He's a fair way out, though. Uh, this will be Michael Walters. And he's right back. He's virtually on the wing where he's starting this. You can just see the circle to his right. Perfect day. Not a breath of wind. Spins the ball a bit. Nice and comfortable on it. Let's see what he can do. A little bit of a skip. Oh, wow. Gets hold of it. Kicked it high. It's come back wow. a little. And... Crowd erupts there, and they are on the board 50 seconds in with Michael Walters and, of course, Pittman getting that out. So the game hasn't really warmed up yet. Let's just see what CBC do. I'll tell you what, though. They're, they're not overly done or not overly blessed with height because that uh, number 19 down there in the forward line, Samuel Fennell, is quite tall as well, standing at full forward. And the ruck doesn't look that tall as well. So let's just see if he can get off the ground this time. And you're with Vince Cosme. So, ball goes up. Well, Golden Grove Ruckman, the only one to contest again. And they get the easy takeaway. So, a few handballs there. Ball's just ended up there with the Ruckman wrench. And he's kicked it into the forward line. It's going to hit the ground. Let's see what happens here inside the 50. Uh, a bit of a pack forming. And we'll have a uh, ball up here from the... Uh, central lump I ran about 40 metres out in front of the Golden Grove goal they've started well got the first two inside 50s Pittman there can't quite grab the ball almost pushed in the back as he was uh, tackled ball spills out now and it's uh, going to be another uh, scrimmage and no umpires picked out a free kick it'll go to Seabock looks like that's against Pittman actually and they'll have the opportunity here to clear looking to switch so switching here over to the uh, uh, broadcast side of, of the ground and another kick out wide. All oh, the marks being dropped there by Porcelli. And uh, that's ended up spilling over the boundary line. Uh, Golden Grove players let him know about it too. Strong and tackle, wasn't it, Vince? <laughs> yeah. And uh, we'll have a boundary throw in here around about uh, oh, probably 30 odd metres around from the uh, Golden Grove goals. So ball comes in, flat throw in. Contested that time by Cockgrove. Ball on the ground here. And the other kick, now we're going to get a kick in the forward line here. For Golden Grove, that's uh, by Dodd. Dodd's uh, kicking the forward line. No one able to take the mark. And it's an opportunity here to clear for, for Seabock. First one there's Raymond, Matthew Raymond. And we'll have a throw we'll in, Vince. Throw so in there uh, on the far side. It's a, yep. long, geez, it's a long way away over that. It it's is, a big Vince. ground, isn't it? It's and a there's big no ground, fence Tony. here. So umpire now sets himself, brings it in the forward line for Golden Grove there. Just a little bit off skew with the ball up and it's dribbled out in front of the players there. Big number 19, Simon Fennell, we were mentioning in the ruck. Sets himself and I'd say that's Jonty Rutai is number three and he palms at uh, Seabox way there. 
Ball just bobbling around there. Oh, puts his head over, taken high, and umpire's seen that in there. Quite sharp on the whistle. So Golden Grove player right out on that far side by the massive light tower there. It's actually going back to set up. There's a fairly full press going on, so a lot of the Christian Brothers Old Collegians players are coming in, and this is Barnell with the ball, who's been in around the goal kickers, number three, Jed Barnell. So he's going to kick from probably 45, I'd suggest, very tight angle on the boundary. Swings the ball around a bit. Jizzy likes it off the boot. And just drifting away for a, a goal. No, it's a goal. It's just the way the players were quite laconic there when that went through. But uh, that is a nice goal to Barnell. So uh, he, he did look very relaxed coming in for the kick. You see him set up here. Spins the ball around a bit. And through it goes. So, uh, Nick, you've got something for us on the boundary? Yeah, uh, as, as we've seen, complete domination from Gold Golden Grove so far. They've yet to lose a clearance. They're dominating throughout the ruck. They haven't lost a ruck tap either. And they haven't conceded an inside 50 yet. I, All right. So I, think they might, I think they might have just lost their first ruck yeah. tap because someone yeah. actually decided to go up for, for okay. Seabock there, which is great. And now the okay, ball... Okay, so here, here they go. Just in the forward line, about to come into the 50. Coming in now, and a good grab there, Vince. Yeah, so that's uh, Josh Ingram in the back line there who's taken that mark. He's uh, this way, that way. He's decided to go to the other side of the... Uh, found the found a play, lovely looking left kick into the middle. He's found that uh, goal kicker, Barnell, uh, who's now looking out wide, spotted something he likes out there, and the mark's been taken out there by uh, number 13. Now, that's Charlie Ashcroft. Now, interesting story, Charlie Ashcroft. He was playing C grade last year and making his debut for the A grade today. Is that right? Yeah, so the uh, kick's come across. It's, it's been picked up by Pittman. He's gone backwards uh, to maintain possession. And the ball now is with Michael Walters, so who obviously kicked the opening goal of the game. Nice-looking kick inside. They're just uh, maintaining possession here and maybe another opportunity... Geez, I don't mind having these shots from, you know, yeah, from long way, range, long range. So this time it's Connor Dodd's uh, uh, opportunity. And uh, we'll see if he can, uh, as his uh, two teammates have done so far, uh, are able to uh, to kick a, kick a goal from long range. So in comes Connor Dodd on the left. Looks like he's got the distance as well, but just off to the left. And that's the first blemish there for, um, for the Kookaburras. But they're 2 one on the Sports Interactive scoreboard. And see, Bock funny had the one inside 50 yet to uh, trouble the scorers. And we, we're we actually blessed today because not only do we have it uh, for our um, our game clock brought to us by Adelaide Starbus, we have our, on the screen you'll see that we have our, our, our count clock, but they actually have a count down clock. They do too. Uh, over on the... Uh, over on the scoreboard, so we can actually tell you what's uh, what's Ooh. happening um, uh, with all the games so far. Anyway, uh, we'll continue on here. Seabock had got the ball outside 50. Oh, Mark uh, not taken, but uh, good good second effort there. Now the ball's out towards half forward. There's an opportunity for him to go inside 50, bobbling around. And ooh, that might have been on the full, not picked up by the boundary umpire. And uh, we'll have a throw in there just in front of uh, Troy Kingham there who was uh, leading that. So in comes the ball. Ruckman and Contest actually taken out of the out of the air there by uh, Rutai, and uh, now he's tackled. Ball in dispute here. They picked up Pittman. Jeez, he started Ooh, well. Taken, Ooh, high. taken high there was uh, Shenton, and uh, he'll have the free kick, Tony. Okay, so Rowan Shenton, solid customer. Handball's outside towards the boundary, and he's picked up a few touches already. Pittman, oh, big high leap there, but up early. Oh, just perfectly crumbed. Bit of a scrubbing kick forward. Player gets around on his left. Handballs the player cruising through and into goal they come Jed Barnell. And that was a very quick transition from half back through to half forward. And uh, look, if it opens up like this as a game, then really for the coach of Golden Grove, you've got to be practicing things because they're going to come up against a very tough team next week. So that transition from half back to half forward, and player just ran into open goal there was uh, Jed Barnell. And he's got his second already. So, just the start, they would have looked liked. I mean, as you said, you don't yeah. want to be distracted, and uh, and they certainly haven't been and gone off to a, a really quick start here. So umpire now throws it up. Christian Brothers there get the tap. 
One handball, two handball, but they seem to be putting themselves in trouble. Now it's flicked up. That's given us a throw, I'd suggest, and it is. So player number 36 is Daniel Alpin. Has the ball. Gone Grave, there's still four or five players behind the ball, and there's two free down behind the ball. So up it comes in. Oh, a player flying high in the back. Couldn't quite take it around. They come. Spots up a player. Goes too far. Playing in front there, the Golden Grove player. And uh, we'll just wait and see as he turns around. But uh, nice grab there. So he's looking. He's got leads coming here, there and everywhere. And just tips out that back pocket. Jared Cotgrove it was. Second kick out. So they're not outside the 50. Now they are. Just a little kick up. Josh Habel. So he now looks inside. Nice kick too into the middle. And the ruckman there didn't follow that ball down, Vince. So he's now kicking into the forward line. Great kick. Ball on the ground. They're streaming towards it. Just a little tap there by number 21 was Connor Dodd. And very well done. He just offsided his opponent. You'll see this in the replay. Offsided his opponent. Put his body in the right position and just dribbled it through on the left. So... Geez, I'll tell you what, that's the second goal from half-back. They've come from half-back to half-forward. Hits the ground. The coach would like that to hit. And just through it went. Yeah, so good work there from uh, from Dodd. And uh, there's four goals already in the first ten minutes on the uh, uh, on the scoreboard here for the Kookaburra. So very, very encouraging start for them. A little bit of work so going in the middle there, there, Matthew Raymond. Matthew Raymond uh, getting Jake stuck Pittman. into Jake Pittman there. Well, not surprisingly, Jake Pittman uh, J applies the tackle, strong tackle there on Raymond. That ball doesn't look like it's going to come out. Um, obviously, uh, two-time reigning best and fairest, and, and in their best players already every game this year, yeah. Pittman. So Size well on his way to a hat-trick. Uh, interestingly enough, the... Uh, the player there he's on, Matt Raymond, is a triple reigning uh, best and fairest winner for, for Seabox. So, he's been uh, in their best so, last yeah, few weeks. Yeah, and they've, uh, those players playing on each other, so we're going to look forward to that matchup all day. Okay, so ball out here on the wing. First one there is Marchioro, uh, uh, former North Adelaide junior, uh, playing here uh, A-grade for Seabock. Uh, getting a little bit of attention there from uh, Max Col Koslick, and he was one of the late inclusions, uh, Koslick, today. Ball taken out of the ruck. Uh, well done there by Rutai. So he's got the ball up towards foot. Is it just inside the line? I think it is in front of, uh, I think it's the two number 44s there, Luke Barmby and Samuel Madigan. Ball is spoiled out over the uh, boundary line. About about uh, 40 metres around from the, the C-Bot goal. Opportunity here for them to uh, to get some traction. Uh, ball up in the ruck. Uh, tried to take it out there, Sam Raymond, the captain, but uh, tackled immediately. And it's about 30 metres off the ball there, Vince. The actual proper ruckman had just set up here about 30 metres back off the ball. So that'll be uh, Sam Raymond. Looks like he's up against Shenton here. Uh, Shenton, high fly, gets the ball. That comes to uh, Marchioro again. Unable to get the handball across. Now that Golden Grove got the opportunity to clear through Habel. Habel looks to the other side. Excellent kick. And he's found their captain, Oliver Graham, out uh, on the half-back flank right in front of the scoreboard. Good, looks inside. Good kick there to Valifach, and he's now going to look one of their new recruits. He's going to look down towards half forward. Oh, geez, that's a, a really good grab. One grab there at half forward. So now we're going to look for uh, another kick inside 50. Big stretch and a good mark taken there around about uh, 40 metres out. Looks like it's directly in front. And excellent transition there. Jeez, I'll tell you what, I've liked his game yeah. early, Wretch. He's been, uh, been prominent, and now opportunity for him to kick the Kookaburra's fifth goal here. And uh, hasn't their transition from back to forward been very good too, Vince? Been very impressive, absolutely. So in he comes here, Samuel Wrench, the uh, ruckman for Golden Grove. Uh, awkward kicking style, but uh, doesn't really matter because that umpire has not moved. And uh, that's their fifth goal on the board. We're on the, just going to have a look at this shot for goal again. A little bit, uh, little bit awkward with the kicking skull here, Wrench, but... Um, it's uh, it's all about the result, and uh, and that's a uh, fantastic uh, shot for goal. Another one from um, from range. Quickly, uh, Nick, yeah, on Nick the what have you got on the boundary? Just an interesting stat that I've noticed. Um, despite having a lot more of the ball, Golden Grove have doubled the amount of tackles that CBC have. So working both sides of the ball, there, well played to okay. the Cooper So we're back so, on now, Tony. Yep. So uh, Gabrielli, it was first of the ball. 
It's actually gone about 10 metres to Golden Grove's way. And I tell you what, he walked past a moment ago, Josh Ingram, up close, mate. He is massive, number 35 there, and the ball comes to him. Couldn't quite take it. Is they back up well? Player goes this way, but that way. Here's Ingram as we speak. This will be an interesting kick straight across. Great vision. I'm always interested too, after you do dispose of what you do, and as soon as he kicked that, he started running down the ground. So they are proactive in their work rate as well. So player number 33, Braden Shaw. Goes into the forward line. Ball on the ground. They're under pressure here, CBC. They are really under pressure. Player comes out and puts his arms out wide, but the kick's going to come to a 50-50. Ingram's here. Not sure he's going to have the pace to go with it. And uh, Have a look at the difference in the size between these two. Well, it fortuitously bounced to Ingram. I'll tell you what, he's got a great kick on him, and poor old Sam Madigan just looks like he's come off the horse race seven at Morfittville and uh, up against Ingram. So inside they go, and Gabrielli. He's done all right down back. He's uh, got a handful there. Just a neat kick sideways. Most teams will give you that. Two left footers. They must be waxing. Now they come in square. That's interesting. Dane Brand it is. Very slow football. Possession though. 28 is Luke Johansson. They're down on the wing. It's taken five or six kicks to get there. They're held up. Player calling you can see on the screen there. Not used. D'Angelo. Now it comes in very short. 28. Johansson, it's going to be a long way home. Gets on the left, 36, Daniel Elpin. Well, can they get from one end to the other with this possession football? There's where it comes undone. Player tries to outdo his opponent. Gets tackled, brought to ground, inside 50. And it's that last kick, Vince, that uh, sometimes can get you in trouble. Yeah, so uh, a little bit unlucky if that kick, Marciora got the one arm to it. Up it goes. He actually goes up for the ruck himself. And following up with the second effort, that ball's going to go out in front of Sean uh, in the forward pocket. Just have a look there. Poor old uh, Marchioro. Number seven here, Wadsworth, and 44, Madigan. All very light-framed players for CBC. And uh, Wadsworth, one of their uh, uh, new recruits who's come over from Goodwood Saints. So uh, we'll see. keep an eye on how he goes throughout the uh, throughout the day. But uh, the kick on the... Uh, check side here all the marks being uh, dropped there i think that was walters but beautifully followed up there by ingram now the ball's down to the wing and just in dispute there oh, excellent work by him. ingram yeah. yeah he's gone back and followed up with an excellent second effort kick inside 50 ball comes to ground no one really looking to pick it up kicked off the ground it's going to come back to ingram he's going to get a third go Looking inside, spotted someone up. Excellent kick. He's got good foot and skills. And now it's going to be uh, brought in by Schultz. Schultz looks inside, and that's a fantastic kick inside 50. So just uh, quickly on Ingram, I mentioned a moment ago, when he kicked the ball, he moved on to the next spot, and you saw that in that piece of play. Any young footballer out there, it's not what you do with the ball, it's where do you go next after you've gotten rid of it. And he's picking up a lot of possessions there, Vince, as... Uh, the Ruttman comes yeah, in. Yeah, big wrench again, having a fantastic start to the game. He's going to kick from about a 30-metre angle. I'll tell you what, don't worry about his kicking style. That umpire hasn't moved again. And that is six goals won here on the Sports Interactive scoreboard to Golden Grove. And uh, uh, CBC uh, yet to uh, trouble the score. 17 minutes in here on the Adelaide, Adelaide Starbucks Star time clock. Time clock. You so, know why? On time, stress-free travel, and Adelaide Starbucks. Interesting that uh, the actual the clock here is actually counting up, whereas in the B grade, because they have the 22 flat minutes, it was actually counting down. So well, my, my apologies, and we did get a little bit excited thinking we'd have a countdown clock. Yep. But uh, not on this occasion. But uh, up go the Ruckman again. Uh, it's going to be an easy clearance here again for Golden Grove. They are on song today. Ball out there. First one looking toward his Shaw. Shaw now it's... Uh, Applying the tackle there, number three, Jed Barnell, liked his game in the forward line early, and umpire's going to ball this one up. So the ball up, uh, tap down there by Fernell. Opportunity here, handball comes out. This is um, number 22, uh, which is Sean, and uh, he has missed Tony. All right, so let's see what they can do coming in. Uh, a quick entry, so uh, quite good out to around the 50. Around they come, Nathan Burns it is. Couldn't quite get it out. They're messing around with it back there. Players come to him. Here come the Cavalry. That is a very dangerous kick to come inside and not all the way across goal. Now they get across goal. 
Dane Brand, but I can tell you what, they're under pressure, and that's what pressure will do with you. Little skill error like that, and out it comes, and guess who runs in? Ingram it was who applied the pressure there. So just that skill error can be quite costly. So CBC now are on the wing for this ball up. As you can see, the ground is bathed in sunshine. Players have actually got their hands up over their eyes down this end, trying to cover to see what's happening. Over it comes the big ruckman, puts it in. Oh, player not quite put off the ball. So around they come. Geez, great control there. Has he got it around? I reckon he might have. And uh, that is Michael Walters. You wouldn't believe it. They've kicked seven. Three players have kicked two each. Jed Barnell, Michael Walters and Samuel Wrench. I'll tell you one thing I've noticed. If you watch this bit of play, just the size of the Golden Grove players, you'll see there tried to bump. That player didn't quite bump. Player in front, Walters around the corner there. They're actually physically bigger and stronger. We'll just cross over to Nick on the boundary, Nick. Yeah, just got an interesting stat for you boys. Um, very efficient inside 50, Golden Grove. 14 inside 50s, 9 scoring shots with and 7 goals. And they've kicked 7 goals too, mate, so that is a great stat. Yeah, so they're ah. up they go again. Yeah, it's a good efficiency. Not only are they getting it in there, they're making the most of it when it does. So, dispute and dispute here. There's going to be a ball up. Uh, right on the centre line, but uh, just about 10 metres towards us here. Tackle applied there by Will Strange, and uh, GC Box has just got to get something going. Geez, it didn't go up for the for Atkinson there for the for the ruck, but uh, they may get a push in the back free kick here against number 29 Cockgrove, and there's an opportunity here now for them to go inside 50. So just going to survey the options. Uh, ball's going to come out towards it. Yeah, commentary side, good neat kick. Taken by Alpen. Alpen's been prominent for, for C, CBC early. So he's calling for calling for leads. He's found something he likes. Going straight towards the centre. Right in front of goal. Ball not taken there by Harris. Playing coached. It's been uh, picked up here. Tackle applied straight away by uh, Max Koslick. And the umpire now will come in and ball it up. And uh, Harris there unable to... Uh, um, free kick here, Vince. He's going to get a free kick, Harris. Yes, he going is. On so there. 50. And now 25 uh, for not um, not to, just getting rid of the ball there as look, well. So Look at him streaming down the ground here. Balls, oh. balls come out here to Barmby. So Barmby now running inside the centre square. See something he likes out wide. Excellent disposal there through to Shaw. Shaw goes on as well. And they've got another market. Is that inside 50 again? Yeah, he's just come and off the bench. Uh, Pittman, Pittman again, that, uh, coming off the bench after a rest. And now the opportunity for him to add to the uh, list of goal kickers here. Going to be kicking on a 45 degree angle from about that same distance, 45. So we'll see how uh, how he goes. Been uh, obviously prominent early, Jake Pittman. Uh, playing out of the middle. Coming in now, about to uh, cross over the 50 metre 50 meter arc. So Pittman on the left. Wow. Lovely long kick. That umpire hasn't had to move for the third time in a row. And they have got eight in this first quarter. They are going down down the slope, so you'd expect that's the <laughs> scoring end. But, Is it uh, the uh, retro or heritage jumper, Vince, we call it? The 25-year yeah. anniversary jumper. Maybe they've got the ghost of players of the past. Uh, there's probably hundreds of them. Uh, there might only be 18 or 21 on the ground, but... Uh, Boy, B, maybe they're playing for everyone, so it's like having 100 players out there the yeah, way they're going. Yeah, they, so. they've got players everywhere. They're uh, looking mm. very, very impressive. 50 to 0 here in the first quarter, and uh, anyway. yeah, we could be in for something, uh, as, yeah. well, Stroud. quite quite, uh, quite uh, big in terms of margin today. Stroud's gone into the ruck as well for CBC down there. So the ball on the wing, and it's going to be Golden Grove here again through Thatch. He's got the ball uh, into uh, Ford 50, but a good uh, mark taken there here by CBC. Is. The ball comes out here to Stroud. Another, I believe another former North Adelaide junior. There are quite a few of them here. Little Much. nudge in the back there in front of uh, Marchioro. So that ball now is going to spill and go over the boundary line. And right in front of us here, uh, literally five metres away, from, uh, from where this ball's going to be uh, thrown in on the boundary line. Fantastic spot we've got here. So in it comes. Ball's going to be taken there, uh, tapped down by the Ruckman. Handball back to uh, the Ruckman by Sean. Now as they're streaming into the forward line again, the kick in here oh. by Daniel Schultz has gone over the back. First one there is going to be Raymond. Matt Raymond goes with a long kick. Excellent. Jeez, he's got... Oh, the mark's not taken there by Atkinson, and that could... Uh, Prove costly. Oh, is that high tackle there maybe on Pittman? No, a couple of handballs out. 
Ball on the wing. Now it's come back to um, Max, Co Max Coleslick. Oh, what's he's got around the player there. Now he's gone for a kick inside 50 and good spoil. No, the free kick's going to be uh, free kick will be paid there to uh, Brand. So to he, Brand he's had line. a bit of it. So yep. uh, just comes out short there, square. They come back in. They've tried to do this zigzag. It's one of the things you do in wet weather or windy days. But it's come undone there. Ingram's had a whole pile of the ball, as a lot of them have. Habel now uh, just kicks in, and there's a mark. Like you mentioned before, player just waving to come off. You hope he's not injured. Yeah, so um, is that Walters? Might be. Sorry, I was just looking at Baylor th yeah. Thatch coming off there. But uh, Walters, yeah, get to come in, lining up for his third. But they don't mind having a shot from a long way out. Obviously, as you said, Ben's no, kicking downhill. Kicking downhill, know the ground yeah. well. But and uh, uh, it, it might be like you last week, is it a true 50? Well, so, <laughs> not only that, he's, he's, at he's the actually at the centre. So he's he's yep. in line with the centre line here that where he's starting. So, okay, so Walters, it is very comfortable with his kicking action. Just wanders in. Might do a little bit of it. There it is. A little bit of a da -da 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 -da. Runs around a little bit. Gets a bit of left to right. Doesn't come back. So we'll see a CBC kick on. It's only kick in. It's only their third one. Uh, because CBC, uh, Golden Grove kicks so straight. So they go to the pocket, as we said. Most teams will give you that one. It's the next kick now. Players lead. They stream. Player runs to the boundary side but comes back inside and he's trying his heart out down there, Dane Brand. Oh, he just pulls up short, pops up a little bit high, but good take there by Troy Kingham. But they're just holding up, holding up. So whether it's a tactic by themselves or whether Golden Grave are forcing it, and this is what they're doing again. Little kick in, Nathan Burns up 25 metres against Golden Grove players there. A lot of players streaming through. Play on, not 10, the umpire calls, or 15 these days. Up it goes. Oh, a player tried to shepherd where the ball was going to fall there, Vince, and uh, goes over in front of uh, Marchioro. Yeah, so uh, inside 50, they, geez, they'd love a score here mm. uh, just to get to get underway here. So we'll see what, uh, what happens. Uh, Ruckman are going to go up against it again. Um, and, oh, he's taking it out. He's taking it out. Carl Harris, uh, the coach is he trying to do it all? Free kick? No, uh, umpire will uh, will ball it up. Trying to uh, set the right uh, example. He's going to go into the ruck and certainly outsized. The Golden Grove there are going to get it back again through Ingram. Like like his game. Oh, he's, the handball's been caught up. Here's Harris oh. again. They tackled immediately by two players, uh, including Rowan Shenton and um, and Josh Ingram. They're very physical, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, Golden they are. They're, they're straight a lot on of big they're boys. I, kept, I know I keep mentioning, but they're very physical, and you not, just can't get away. Not giving any uh, any opportunity at all for uh, for Seabock to settle at all. So Pittman with the handball to Ingram, back to Pittman on the left. A little bit of a wobbly kick, but it's found its mark. Now rushing out of the forward line here is Habel. Liked his game off a half back. He's decided to go out wide. They're moving first. So there you go, Tony. How he's run on again for the second effort and uh, kicks inside. Ball marks dropped at the point of the square at half forward. Now uh, uh, opportunity here for Seabock to clear, but uh, tackle applied immediately there, and there will be a ball up uh, right in front of the, uh, looks like a Telstra Tower or something that there. does, Vince, and, yep. um, Put your helmet on. <laughs> up it goes. So, so, go, so yes, Tony, go. Yep. Let's see what happens player here. Player on his left. He's come off the half-back flank, that player. Just a high kick. That was two half-back flankers. A little bit high, you wouldn't believe it. There's a little touch of hands in the back, and it's Walters again lining up for, well, he's kicked 2-1, but uh, lining up for his third goal, if he can get this a little bit different on the angle. Let's see how he goes, and he does tend to go a little bit left to right, so uh, just see where he goes with this one. Now, my luck, he'll probably kick it straight through the height a little as the 27 and a three-quarter, 27 minutes, 45 seconds that quarter. As he's uh, now, he can't run around, but the umpire's not directly behind him. He does actually, he does have, actually have a little bit of an arc. If you've been he? watching, he does have a little bit of an arc in how he runs, so he's not going to be able to do that. So, um, uh, and he comes, doesn't really need to, and just offline there. So, eight goals, four that will be 52. 
to zero at quarter time, Vince. Yes, yeah, so uh, absolutely dominating quarter there to a Golden Grove. They'll be very happy with that start. As you said, potentially always is a danger game when you come up against the side. Ranked lower on the table, but they have just uh, put that to bed in the first uh, first quarter. And it will be interesting to see how much further they extend, potentially extend that lead before the end of the game. So we're going to go to a quick break. And uh, Nick's out uh, to hear what the Seabox uh, coach there, playing coach Carl Harris, has got to say. And we'll be interested to, uh, to know uh, uh, what he comes back with. <laughs> Ran about two minutes and then throw. Check out Catch, where everyday Aussies are getting great deals like Justin's Timber Rake, Sylvester's Cologne, Celine's Dijon, and Camilla's Pasta Bowls. For millions of products, everyday Aussies check out Catch. Check out Catch, where everyday Aussies get extraordinary savings. Like Salma's Kayak, Ned's Telly, Brad's Pit and Reese's Wooden Spoon. For everything they need, everyday Aussies check out Catch. Get a quick and easy low-rate car loan from Police Credit Union today. Check out Catch, where everyday Aussies get what they need for less. Like mixed joggers. Bill's Gate, Sarah Jessica's Parker, and Kim's Kardashian. Cam. For all the brands they love, everyday Aussies, check out Catch. Okay, so quarter time here, Golden Grove by 52 points. Uh, our boundary rider Nick's been out uh, with the uh, Seabock uh, huddle at quarter time. Let's see what he had to say. Yes, I'll tell you what, boys, there's a lot of people that would have had the same estimate of what that quarter time break was like for CBC. They got pulled in straight away by their coach. They weren't happy, obviously. They're, they're getting the ball moved from them way too easy, like going into transition and defense golden grove are ma moving the ball way too easy and they just got to stay on their opponents there's a lot of changes that they're looking to make this quarter and for the rest of the game so we'll see we'll see if that takes place now i said before the game as a tip that it should be eight goals to golden grove i didn't mean at quarter time so <laughs> a bit harsh on him but we'll see what happens for the rest of this game back to you boys all right thanks for that nick and uh we'll have a look at some statistics uh cam our statistics man is doing a great job so inside 50s 20 to 6. So they scored 8 goals, 4. So they scored 12 times off 20 inside 50. So CBC tried to stem the, the flow a little bit, like trying to put your finger in the dike. They got 6 in there. Tackles 17 to 12, um, as I've mentioned in other times, is that you tend to see that because that means that Golden Grove have got the ball a lot, even though they've had the higher tackle count. Uh, it's still quite high by CBC. The ruck taps are 16 to 11. Golden Grove's way, so it hasn't been all one-way traffic there, and uh, we'll see what happens in this second quarter, and Golden Grove are being held in a long time, and you sometimes wonder, okay, what will the coach be saying at quarter time, etc., and as I said, 
you can almost start using this as practice on your theories and your patterns and everything for the next week. And so there has been a couple of little fumbles and different things. What's what's an exact perfect game, Vince? That's the thing. As a coach, are we ever happy? So, uh, you know, maybe that might be the message there, just setting a couple of players up. The other thing you might find is that players uh, also might be moved around a little bit and used in different positions for later on in the year. So that's another thing that we'll be uh, keeping an eye on. So uh, ball back in the middle. Let's see if there's a change, whether they can stem the flow. And your caller is Vincent Cosmi. So just waiting. Umpire holds the ball aloft. Ball about to be thrown up here for the start of the second quarter. And let's have a look now. We'll see in the first couple of minutes the changes that have been made. So Rutai in the ruck, he was serviceable. Up he goes. Gets the first tap. Encouraging. Let's see if they can get the ball out. Picked up by Wrench, though. He's... Uh, Good second effort from the Ruckman there. Ball spilling out to the outer side. First one there is Sam Raymond, the captain. See if he can help spark his side. But uh, he's bundled over it. And now the ball's going to... Uh, it's actually full, gone out on the full. Yeah. So they're actually going to get the ball back here. Um, see, Bog. And, uh, oh, no, Golden Grove's got it. Sorry, they're going uh, uphill. Let's see if they can uh, do the same. So just chipping the ball around. Now it's come out with Walters. Long very, way down the ground, Very prominent. Very prominent early. So... A kick across the ground here now to Hillcote, one of the co-captains. And um, he's now going to put the ball up towards half forward. Big pack for all. Oh, big fly at the back from the uh, player there, number 35, Kenmore. Wasn't able to take the mark, but they're able to come away with it. And here's Marchioro. Now, he's been serviceable in the first quarter. He's presented well. His interesting kicking style goes up towards 50. And a mark's been taken there, so well done. Well done. Mark taken there by D'Angelo. And first opportunity here for the Dolphins to uh, get a good look at the goals. Well, it'll be interesting to see whether they've had a look at uh, how Golden Grove have gone kicking from the long distance. See, Walters there. I mentioned about players playing in different positions. He's running right down to the goal square now. So in comes D'Angelo. Let's see what he can do. Kick a little bit wobbly off the boot. Is it going to make it? It is. It's going to be their first score. So that is a behind. And they're uh, off and running here, the Dolphins. Uh, and um, after quarter time, they're in front, Tony. Okay, so let's see what they do with their kick-ins here, Golden Grove. Will they set a pattern? Up? Oh, just low, hard, penetrating kick. That was a fantastic kick, and I reckon that's Barnby maybe out there with the ball. It is on the far side. He just takes one step, kicks to the player leading forward. Now, they may come inside. They don't. They just kick down the line, and then they go outside. So... Not necessarily uh, required, but they who am I to say? They go outside to come inside. Now they're inside 50. Oh, good Big kick. lead. Yeah, nice kick too, wasn't it? Pinpoint. And this is Charlie Ashcroft. Haven't caught a lot of him just yet. What I was saying, though, that ball all on one side of the ground, maybe that's the pattern and maybe that's something to to hang on to for next week. Vince up against a uh, uh, one of the top teams. So Ashcroft now... In that pocket. The sun will be uh, across his right to left shoulder. Nice looking kick. What's the umpire there? Quite casual with it. Uh, just pats himself on the chest and says that is a point to Golden Grove. And they go out 8 goals, 5.53 to 1 point. So in it comes. Down in the back pocket. Player on his left foot. Kicks along. So they, we saw some of this in the first quarter. They can put 2 or 3, <coughs> pardon me, sometimes even 4 kicks together. But this transition is very slow, Vince. Yeah, so the, now there's forced to go long down the wing. Big pack forms. No one able to take the mark. Well, shark there by Madigan. His kick, though, looks like he was uh, just distracted there kicking, and that's gone out on the full. Yes, it has. So Walter's uh, landed. Walter's uh, down in the... Flat uh, on his back yeah, there, too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So um, he might just be in it comes, a little here. kick inside. So that mark's been taken there by Schultz. Schultz decides to go across the ground. Got a player out there. I think it's Hable. He's played well off a half back. He's gone straight down there looking for number three, Barnell. Uh, ball spills over the uh, with a good punch there from, sorry, from uh, Matt Raymond. So he's uh, trying his best there, the um, uh, reigning triple best and fairest winner and uh, able to at least force a, a stoppage here on the outer side. Ball comes in. Tap there. Down by Wrench. Coming free. Opportunity here for, for the Dolphins. Ball kicked inside 50. One-on-one -on -one contest. Goes over the back. 
Who's going to be the first one there? Cal Harris is chasing hard, but that's uh, going to be uh, helped over the boundary line by Preston, and we'll see a uh, a ball a ball up here. Uh, sorry, a throw in kick. here. Ah, free kick. No, he's paid a, a Must free have been kick. Off is the that? Boot there, Vince. I didn't see what happened. He They're did get a little bit of a push, yeah. but I didn't think it was much in it. But uh, opportunity now for uh, for Seabox. So, so here's their uh, here's their coach, Carl Harris. Let's see if he can uh, if he can get their first major score on the board here. So and if it's ever needed, Vince, if, look, he's not he's not looking to pass it off. Have a look. Oh no, coach wouldn't be passing it off. But um, that's uh, gone. Why would that's you? That's gone through. Why oh. would he? doesn't need to. Out ah. on the boundary line. That's a fantastic kick yeah. there from Carl Harrison. Well done. The, it's obviously a 10-goal breeze blowing that way. They're so, onto a flyer in this quarter. So he's the playing coach. He's kicked the goal. Does he then call the runner out to tell him how well he's done and then the runner goes back off again? How does that work? Yeah, but I also don't see him uh, ah. running off the ground after he's kicked nah, the goal. Well, that so is a fair <laughs> call, that one. Yes. Yeah, so uh, very quickly, Nick on the boundary. Yeah, so we've seen a different. We have seen a change from CBC. They've got half the amount of inside fifties now as they did the whole first quarter, and uh, they actually uh, got more inside fifties than this quarter than Golden Grove, and it's paying off so far. Well, All there's, right. there's certainly a bit of a a, a bit of a Ooh. slope on the ground, but uh, that's uh, contributed to a uh, a big change, and they're going to get another opportunity yep. here. So here Atkinson. goes Atkinson. What's he going to do? He spotted up something he likes. Pack's going to form. Oh, Harris up again. Can't quite take the mark. Ball spills free. Opportunity here. Oh, held held on to Sam Raymond, the captain. Umpire missed it. Golden Grove now with the op, with, with a chance to go into their forward line. Oh, run along Play way, Vince. Oh, oh, he's run too far. He has. Yeah, Oliver Graham. <laughs> Oliver Graham, the, the, one of the co-captains. He knew it too. He threw his head back. Uh, tried right. to bounce at the last minute. So, uh, far side, dudes. Look at uh, Jake Pittman picked that up. He was off with it then. Wanted a free. But it wasn't a free, it was a mark. Now he gets it back anyway, so he doesn't count two stats. But nice, neat little kick out to Walters, who recovered from that uh, when he hit the ground. So they're zigzagging now. Oh, waiting for the ball now. Two players there. They, Barmy doesn't need to share it around. He just looks forward. He's got a low penetrating kick. I reckon that's the sun straight in the eyes there of the Golden Grove players, or almost a soccer. I'll tell you what, he's battled hard down here. Dane Brand, he's got his work cut out. And the umpire said holding the ball. Uh, about 40 metres out from the Golden Grove goal. So, pretty easy kick now for uh, Lachlan Jean. it is, number 22. We believe that's how we pronounce his name, Jean. So, he's going to come back, have a little bit of a look, play a gun pass for the handball. He called him in almost there. Gives it a high roost. Has it got in? It hasn't. And that was Braden Shaw. And uh, Jean just actually looked at him and virtually called him in there. So... Golden Grove, we see in the Heritage Jumper, the 25-year anniversary jumper. And as we said, a couple of blokes walking around. And one bloke said it stuck to him. It was that hot. But they've got <laughs> the old woolly jumpers on next to us out here. So, Vince, the ball comes in. Yeah, it does. That's a good-looking kick. That's gone well in towards the centre part oh. of the ground. Again, Marchioro off hands. Can't quite get rid of it. I've not She's paid. On. Geez, not paid holding the ball. But uh, Golden Grove looked like they might come away with it. But it's in dispute again. Now an opportunity Walters here and Gabriel, for... Uh, back play, for sorry for um, uh, Raymond to get the ball inside 50, but uh, unable to take the mark there, Carl Harris and uh, Golden Grove, the opportunity here to uh, to get a relieving kick. Uh, Walters uh, leads to the, the wing, but it's not going to go that way. Looking there, or pushed in the back there as he tried to take that mark, Connor Dodd, nothing uh, from the umpire. Again, Marchioro gets the ball inside 50, one-on-one -on -one there, unable to take the mark there, was uh, number 13, that's uh, D'Angelo. So... The ball spills now. They're going to run the ball out here. One bounce. Oh, one bounce. And he's, he's, Jeez, look, he's fast feet, isn't he? He was, but um, uh, looking after he bounced it, that was uh, number 11 there, Josh, Josh Abel. Abel yeah. uh, after he bounced it, he looked up to see where he was going to go, forgot to <laughs> grab the ball back, and it's gone over the boundary oh. line. So uh, boundary umpire now is going to, uh, to throw it in. So... Tap down there by uh, a Big Fern Hill and umpire quickly in. We're going to have a ball up, so let's see what happens this time. So Fern Hill again with the tap. Spills out towards the centre. Oh, chance here for the, the Dolphins. A kick out wide. Intercepted well by uh, Thatch there. Uh, was able to uh, just get a hand on to stop that uh, ball getting um, marked by the Golden Grove player. 
But the uh, tackle high. there, it was taken high, and that's uh, number 16, Schultz, and he's got a uh, relieving free kick. Barmby's picked up a lot of kicks out that far side too, Vince. So the ball on the wing now, they're looking inside. Golden Grove, just a very lackadaisical short kick and didn't really hit the target. And they're the little things that can creep into the game. And, uh, you know, if you're really hard on them as a coach, you'd say that's not allowed. But uh, just improve on that is what we'd say. So throw in now couple of players behind this time because that umpire does throw in long or oh, player almost chicken wing there brought to ground and umpire says ball up no prior Jonathan Wadsworth up it goes players contest taken out of the ruck by CBC Golden Groves way now it comes back Ingram's had a fair bit of the ball he does use it well Walters one of their playmakers been brought up the ground just a nice, laconic-looking kick out here. But put it to the advantage of the player. That's all right. Runs in front. Doesn't have a bounce. So just goes high and long inside 50. Look at the sun there. Really uh, having an impact on those players trying to see that ball. Rushed kick. Will Strange. Bounces out high. And player just popped out a short pass. And on the far side, right in front of the Golden Grove Tavern scoreboard. Up it goes. Player number 21, Samuel Raymond, the captain today. Just goes back and talk about a contrast, Vince, like this slow hold up the ball. There's no switch, so he has to go down. Doesn't hit it properly. And Golden Grove will attack again. Barnby again, he's getting a lot of it, but kicks it back. Almost a little bit of kick to kick here. Thomas Daniel it is, I would suggest, or Samuel Madigan. So it's across the other side or on the ground. Porcelli it was. Goes back ball pretty much in the goal square now. Puts it up high there. Walters will get to that and affect the spoil. Does so. Poor old Will Strange and a uh, little bit with skill errors there. And once again, we just see the difference in size, Vince. They're yeah, physically they're, much they're, bigger. Yeah, they're much bigger, the Golden Grove, and um, certainly asserting themselves on the contest. So up it comes again. Threw it uh, up the rover. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> went to the road, but Fernell still tried to get the tap. So kick in across the other side. There's a Wadsworth. Looks like he's going to be the first one there, is he? Or uh, or is it Ingram? So Ingram ta gets it in front now. Now he's going to kick it inside 50. Got a player on the lead there, but that's uh, well chopped off there by Tom Daniel. And we'll have a boundary throw in here, all in front of all the sponsor signs there on the uh, the forward pocket. And lots there too, isn't there? And, uh, and well well done to uh, to the Dolphins here. We're uh, 11 minutes in, and uh, they haven't scored a goal in this quarter yet um, to the Kookaburras. Little dinky little kick there from uh, Pittman. Unable to take the mark there, Walters. Now they've got a chance to skier. Here's Mochiaro. He's probably uh, their, been their best player. Really lively in the forward line, giving him something. Oh, horrible bounce on the kick. Might actually favour Gabrielli here. Moved up forward. So Gabrielli bumped off the ball. Now it could be Kingham. What's he going to do with the ball? Gets it back. Gabrielli again, but that ball's going to spill out of bounds. And right on the 50-meter arc, we're going to have a, a throw in here and another opportunity for Seabock here to um, to put a little bit more uh, on the scoreboard. So, so Walter's just come past us now. Vince is uh, having a well-earned rest as well. So ball in. Golden Grove able to get Ooh, the ball. A no, bit there's a little there. bit going on there. So uh, they were able to clear the ball, but uh, we'll just see what's happening here. A little bit of a scuffle. With a big ruckman involved too. So, oh, well, hello. another one. Somebody else yeah. has gone down. So just having another look here. A lot of jumper, jumper pulling. <laughs> Preston just picks up one yeah. of the CBC rag players and ragdolls him away. Yeah. What's so the umpire picked there? Picked a yellow card. Yellow card. Uh, so someone's uh, going to uh, have a little bit of a spell. He's just questioning, is it me, is it me? Well, yes, it is. A few players having a chat with him. There will be a, a, a penalty there as well. I think so they're both sent, are they both sent off, Vince? He's very no, slow just coming got, off. We've got someone off with a yeah, yellow, yeah, yellow card. So we'll just pick up who um, who that is. And, and that uh, looks like it's uh, yet, uh, oh, down the ground. So that's where the ball finished up. So kick inside. And Mark's been taken. Uh, the ball's going to come out here. So, oh, players just come off the bench. He might be able to affect this ball. Can't do it. So, Shenton now. Shenton with the ball going in towards half forward. 
Oh, big spoil there yeah, by um, by Watkins, and he's able to get the ball over the boundary. I think it must be a little bit of sun right in that spot there at the moment, Tony. Well, have a look at the screen. It's bright there. It's burnt the grass. Fitch. And number two it was, uh, Matthew Raymond. It's gone off for a little 10-minute spell. So umpire throws the ball in now. Punch forward by Golden Dove. A lot of players around the ball affecting a kick out was Atkinson hits the ground. Player running through there, Oliver Graham, the captain. Oh, just about taken out of it there. Oh, tunnel ball under the Can't legs. That's interesting. That. <laughs> and it gave it a little bit of air. That was the trouble. And uh, Valor Thatch, at least he had a go at it, but you can't do it. So Luke Johansson, just that interesting kicking style up and into Matthew D'Angelo. So D'Angelo it is. Can he hit a target? No, he can't. 50-50. Taken off hands. Been good down back this lad when it has been down there. Max Koslick. Ingram again just racking up the possessions. In it comes now. Just oh, very slow with the release was Michael Watkins. Down they come, the Dolphins, but they can't. The big Ruckman's there. Oh, he's going to give it on his left eventually. Now there's a switch of play, and Barmby is all over the ground. Has time for that ball to bounce. Comes inside. Little chip kick across. Back it comes. They're working as a team very effectively, and uh, that is Cotgrove it is. But he just kicked the space. Player couldn't, didn't have the pace to go away with it. Oh, this way, that way goes Thatch. Around the corner, hasn't got enough on it. Ball in the air, 50-50. Oh, taken and grabbed out, but put his own player in trouble there. Three quick handballs. Might have dislocated the shoulder there, that player too. Just keep an eye on that. Unable to get to that was Oliver Graham, and it just bobbles out in front of him. And player holding his shoulder down back doesn't look too good either. Vince coming towards the the ruck tap here. Is he yeah, going to come on? No, so, he's actually no, he's actually going to stay yep. in the contest. So up it goes. Big tap there forward by by the Dolphins, and that looks like no kept in, kept in there. Well played by Connor Dodd. Gets the handball over to the big ruckman Fernell. His kick inside 50. Good strong good mark hands. taken. Oh taken there by Sean. He gets the quick handball off. Ball coming in. It's just outside. Pack, pack forms. Punched out. Good punch there by Watkins. But uh, Golden Grove the opportunity here. Here's uh, Barnell. What's he going to do? One way, this way, that way. He looks to uh, Shepard. Shepard looks to handball it back. And that's going to be uh, tackled there. Applied actually by Jake Pippen. That was an errant handball there from uh, Shepard. So we're going to have an umpire who's going to ball it up about 40 metres out. 16 minutes in, Vince, and uh, Golden Grove kicked one point for the quarter. Or two. Two points to for us. the quarter, yeah. Depending so on um, which scoreboard we're looking at. But we'll geez, have to uh, we'll up, have check that. So uh, umpire's going to pay a free kick. It looks like it's going to go to Pittman, and he's going to have a uh, opportunity to score his second goal of the day. But, uh, yes, uh, on the um, dried up, Adelaide Starbus game clock, uh, it's going to be up to 17 minutes when he takes his kick, and they uh, haven't got a goal in this quarter. So well done to uh, CBC Old Collegians. They've uh, certainly taken heed of their coach's message at uh, quarter time and um, still, to this point, outscored. The only goal of the quarter so far, and have outscored, uh, outscored uh, the Kookaburras going downhill. But uh, in comes Pippen. It's his opportunity to change that. Umpire moves a little bit. Don't think he moved enough. No, he didn't. So that's a goal. First goal of the quarter there to, uh, to Golden Grove. And that then takes them on to uh, 9 6 60. We have, uh, I think they've had two points this quarter. So um, uh, they're uh, with scoreboard 9 5 59 and 1 1 7. Nick, what have you got for us on the boundary line? So that was Golden Grove's first goal for the quarter, as we know. And they've actually, unlike the last quarter, they've been a little bit more inefficient, having nine of the last, uh, seven of the last nine inside 50. So not as efficient this quarter, but CBC doing better defensively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. better defensively. And uh, a point that we made in the pre-game, Tony, that they uh, they had done some work on their defence from last year. So ball on the far wing for them now. Thatch, it is just that high kick in for Golden Grove. Up they fly, the big men. Sun's a problem we've mentioned. Out it goes to the wing now. The runners are after it, and you put all that effort in, and well done to CBC. They've called play on, whilst the Golden Grove player's trying to umpire. Big punch back, but it's gone straight to the CBC player. Runs in, and just a little bit offline there. That would have been a handy goal, but uh, offline. So the 
players now, we're starting to see not as many following the ball around because, as I mentioned earlier, you can't get the water bottles out on the yeah, ground. It's quite hot for late May. Yeah, 18 and a half minutes in, and players are spread out all over the ground now, so a nice kick in over the back, though. Geez, that just clunked into his hand, his Rutai, who we've been impressed with as a ruckman. That's a great kick in the centre forward. Taller player, geez, player trying to do it all on his own there for Seabox, Troy Kingham, no help. So over it goes, Barmby, out it comes. That was, sorry, uh, Habel it was. Left foot kick down inside 50. Geez, that's a nice grab as well. Thomas Daniel has a look across the ground. He's got a player free right back. He's got two players free. Comes He's found one. Into yeah. the middle, and that's D'Angelo now running by. This player's had plenty of it too. Johansson, high kick down, and a grab here by uh, Samuel Madigan. Long way out, goes to what we call the fat side, but cutting across Golden Grove player. That's very smart football. He'll coat, gets after that ball. Quick handball, one, two, three. They're out now. It's going to go down the far side. One bounce, long kick to the wing. Player will not quite get to it. The ball just about stops. Bounce, oh, and he's running to trouble there, Vincent, taking the ground, and the umpire says, I will throw it in. So first gamer there, Charlie Ashcroft, uh, taken in a strong tackle by, uh, looked like it was Matthew Raymond. He must be back on the ground after his little uh, indiscretion. Umpires called play on here with the free kick. So advantage paid, ball inside 50. Good front and centre there by Will Strange, but he's tackled immediately. D'Angelo, no, uh, number five's got a free, Carl Harris. Oh, Carl Harris has got the free. Yeah. Yes, okay. So he, uh, he walked away from that pack, and I thought, what's he doing? They're playing on, he's just walking away, but... He must have he, heard the, he heard the whistle. Yeah, yep. yeah. So opportunity here for him to kick his uh, second goal. And, of course, uh, that'll be the second goal for the Dolphins too if he's able to slot it. And, um, you know, that's that's a good win for them. If they can, you know, we're 20 and a half minutes here on the uh, Adelaide Starbucks game clock. And if they can win this quarter, yeah, that's, a, uh, that's a good... Uh, Good start. Stabs at it, but uh, they, a lot of kicks have gone a little bit left to right. That looked like it could have possibly missed, but it's drawn back beautifully, <laughs> and that's a uh, second goal to the coach, we Kyle Harris. Replay here. Just watch quarter. where he runs. He actually runs towards the point and goals, which is a dangerous thing to do. If you see, camera's right behind him. See, where he's heading directly between the goal and point and just hooks that back a little bit, and who are we to say, but he's kicked the goal, but Straight a lot of the time the that doesn't actually work, so... Ball in the middle of the ground now. Can uh, It won't be a long quarter this quarter because there's only been a couple of goals scored, three. So 21 minutes in on the Adelaide Starbus game clock. On time, stress-free travel, of course. So umpire says, Tony Neal's commentating, so I might do a second ball up. It seems to be the, the thing that happens, Vince. So up it goes in the middle. Geez, no one goes up, so that's worth a kick there. And, of course, uh, Jake Pittman's after it. Left footer, look at that stabbing kick straight to Samuel Raymond for the opposition, Vince. Yeah, so Sam Raymond <laughs> <laughs> kicks outside 50. Well done, good intercept. He's got it to Gabrielli. Gabrielli's been busy, been up forward, now down back again. He's decided to go out wide. So then it's the next kick now that uh, it looks like they've plugged all those uh, gaps up uh, Golden Grove, but he's found something he likes in short. Good take. Well done by Watkins. So Watkins now. Little kick inside, got D'Angelo, he's been busy in the middle as well. So where's he looking? Got a, another pass, good take there by Johansson, been impressed with this passage of play. He looks to go out a little bit wider. Oh, Mark's been dropped there, opportunity for Alpen. But uh, the cavalry comes in, first one there is Madigan. Madigan, scrubby looking kick inside 50, overruns a couple of players. Picked up beautifully good there good by, there, by number 15, Kos Koslick, he's been good. Now the ball's up towards half forward. Golden Grove with the opportunity here. Oh, bad bounce. Good tap on there by Kenmore. So Kenmore now has to try and apply the tackle. Number 33 is Braden Shaw. Braden Shaw gets around his opponent. Sees something he likes inside 50. Oh, looking for Pittman. What a good intercept mark taken there again by uh, number 21. Sam Raymond, the captain. Very impressive this quarter. Out on the far side. First one there will be Burns. Burns gets the ball up towards half forward. Good kick. Oh, just unable to take the ball. Wadsworth butters up second effort. Gets the handball out. Now the ball's hit the ground. Let's see what happens on this side. It's going to end up on the boundary, over the boundary, I should say, in front of um, 
That'll be number 31, I think, Troy Kingham. And isn't that costly? Those couple of marks that have come yep. in, easy chess marks, and they've dropped them. Yeah, they've had some... Op I, I like the way they've structured up with the way they've tried to move the ball forward, and they've managed to get four or five passes in a row, but then... Free kick here, too. And if they're going to get a free kick here. I think that's uh, going to go to... Mark yeah, Joy. Mark Gioro, He and, hasn't uh, stopped as he's... No, he keeps presenting yeah, and yeah. Some, did some really good work here in front of us. And oh, you know what? He deserves a goal here. Yep, he's going to be kicking from about 45. He's worked really, really hard. So, former North Adelaide junior, Mark Gioro, One of the younger young guns I'll be looking forward to in the future. The kicks is going to make the distance. It is. That's a good kick good and a well-deserved goal. Well played there, young fella. He's got their third goal on the board, and that takes them now to 3-1-19, and uh, the Kookaburras are on 9-5-59, Tony. I know it's a, still a six-goal, almost seven-goal lead, but to win a quarter, I don't think the Golden Grove uh, coach would be too happy with this, but uh, the CBC players would start to have a little bit of self belief a little bit of uh, just a little bit of argy-bargy going on there. Umpire now, up it goes, can't be far away from the side. CBC, they just don't seem to get quite to the ruck taps about three or four times today. Ingram's had a lot of the ball as well, comes around, player just wheels around, Braden Shaw there, goes back to Barmby just fresh on the ground, beautiful kick. And that's what you like to see when we talk about uh, the uh, structures and processes and so on, that kind of movement. But uh, now, ooh, close to the fence. I thought he might have put one in as he was going over the boundary line. So ball a throw in now just inside the 50. Golden Grove's end as umpire has a look. Nice throw in. Up it goes. Couldn't quite get his hand on it. Shepard there over the back. Clean bowls, three of them. Jeez, he's done a mountain of work, Pittman. Around it comes a rush kick. It's beaten three or four again. Oh, a player just picks up fortuitously, gliding by Habel. And uh, Habel just kicks it along the ground. Very clever kick. He's had a lot of it too, Josh Habel. I've liked his game. And uh, that was a nice goal. They constructed that. So off a throw in, very important what you do here. So player came around. We saw that. Two, three. Bang, and then Habel along the ground. Goal. So good goal there to uh, good late Josh goal. Habel. Yeah, good late goal there to uh, Josh Habel. So they might be a bit disappointed there. Um, 26 minutes, C Mark CBC, because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they had worked really hard to um, to have an opportunity there in the to, to have a very, really good quarter. But uh, up it goes again. So big tap there by Wrench forward can't actually take it off there was uh, number 22 Sean but they're going to get the ball inside 50 ball coming out towards the boundary line picked up inside one way the other way that's uh, number 21 uh, Connor Dodd his kick goes inside 50 uh, taken there by Pittman in the forward line kick up there by Shepard is going to go through no it's not he's going to put that through for a behind it was good vision by Pittman then wasn't yep. it he looked he had two or three options and he just held on that split second to get that handball up. So uh, thousands of people here. And look, the poor old Seabot player has to go back around behind the fence and pick the ball up himself. All the kids in front of us here, Tony, ah, ah. ready to go well, out. They're ready to go. Yeah, look ready to go. The kids, they're waiting for the siren. Ready to go, yeah. For their half-time uh, half mini league. And great to see too. So um, so good on him. Kick out here. Mark's been taken there yeah, by Raymond. Back on. He's Raymond back, back on. on. Yeah. Lovely looking right leg, but it's just over overstepped the mark and it's been taken by Shenton. So Shenton now, his kick's a little bit uh, short. Shepard manages to uh, get the handball across to Cockgrove. Cockgrove with a high yeah, kick. That. Get under that one. Punch there by Watkins. Rabbit. That's Gets a mark. Play. That's a mark. Punch it. That's a mark, umpire. Took the punch ah. and then uh, took the second one and uh, not paid, but he's going to come in and ball. No, no, he is. There you yeah, go. He did hear mark. me. That was a mark. Well That'll done be there. On this week. That'll have to be. Yeah, well done. That could be mark of the week by Watkins there. Double fisted so punch. Gets quick kick across here. I think that's uh, Young Madigan, is it, in the back line? So he's got a short kick uh, out there to... Um, Applin again. Applin, I believe it is. Oh, sorry, that was uh, Thomas Daniel there. When so they lead towards okay. the ball, Vince, they look good. Yep, so another but lead. That yeah, that like kick's gone just so a bit good. too long to Will Strange and the opportunity here for the Kookaburras to clean up. Kick inside, Whoa. just inside 50. Good, strong mark by Connor Dodd. 
and uh, the man on the mark's right on the 50 metre line so he's uh, decided to pass it off a little bit of lax uh, checking there so now the kick comes in towards towards goal and that has missed Josh Abel that was Abel with the miss there by Vince he uh, led about 5 metres off the man and with the ball in his hand so CBC can, the can can't you be believe we've had uh, what 5 goals in this quarter and it's yeah. gone longer 28 minute mark there yeah, well there you go so uh, in it comes kick out that far side that's not touched that might be a free kick I'll tell you what's happening here we've got kids lined up there's goal posts in front of us the boundary line boundary riders stood up I don't know what next the canteen lady might come by for a glide by so uh, ball on the far side bit of clear vision in front of us now band umpire goes back to that spot must have been touched or play on so in it comes right on the 50 big throw tap forward by Golden Grove Shenton uh, sorry not Shenton that's uh, Ingram it was got it forward player just stopped and propped looked this way and that way still in play they kick to the true centering position now and reaching up and he's back in the forward line, Michael Walters, and doesn't he look good? I reckon, what's he kicked? 2-2. Two, two. Yep. He's been all over the ground this quarter and just be a nice uh, bookend to this quarter if he can kick a goal as well because he's had a, a pretty good game at this point. So goes back a long way. The one thing you will notice with this ground, they've got two grounds out here, so there's no cricket pitch on this ground. It's a beautiful oval. So uh, just coming in here, Michael Walters. You see the square and the 50, very close. Probably kicking from 42, 43. Same player on the siren again. And what's he kicked, Vince? Oh, I think he's missed. Yep. No, he's no, got he's it. it a goal. Gee, that he was called a long, that badly. Long Jeez, time. Not a lot. Yeah, it's so 30 Walters, minute mark. Walters has had the last two, the last shot on goal at the end of each break. So uh, we'll just keep an eye on our band rider, Nicky, who's going to go out and grab Oliver Graham, the captain. So just while we're waiting, Jed Barnell has two goals for Golden Grove, two to Jake Pittman, three to Michael Walters, Habel one, Connor Dodd has one, and Samuel Wrench has two. And for CBC, great quarter, Kyle Harris has two, and Marchioro one. And I was going to say, if... Uh, the coach goes off like they did last week at half time. They won't have a goal scorer. So just having a look now. They're just having a talk in the middle first of all. Yeah, so Pittman just got a few words to say. Little. we got Nick out there uh, just yeah, to the side. Little. He's uh, going to wait for Oliver Graham. Yeah, imagine if he snuck in there with the microphone, Vince. We could all hear what they were saying. And you know what? Might, might not be the best thing. Might not thing. be the best thing. Just though. quietly. <laughs> But yeah. he is having a talk there. Well, let's see if Nick asks him what he said. Yeah, Not what so colour shoes he's got on or hair gel or anything. Exactly. So we'll cross now to Nick. And uh, here he is with the Golden Grove captain. Yes, boys. We're here at half time with the Golden Grove captain, Oliver Gray. O Olum, Oliver. <laughs> Oliver, yes. Um, a strong first quarter. You guys kicked like eight goals to nothing, I think. What was the talk before the game that had such a strong start for you guys? Uh, yeah, we've, we've had some pretty average first quarters. I don't think we've won many first quarters this year, so the premise of today was just win that, have a strong start, win that first quarter, and obviously then that sets up the day. And obviously, Nate Gold's first quarter has set, up, set us up. Um, still plenty of work to go, but um, yeah, just the start was paramount to us this week. And that second quarter, a little bit of a stalemate there. What are some things that you'd like to improve on for the second half? Uh, I think we just need to lower the eyes going forward. They've, they've obviously put a player back um, after that start, um, and we're probably just trying to be a bit too cute on the 15. We just need to sort of uh, honour that forwards lead and sort of, uh, yeah, get moving a bit quicker. I'll let you get back to it. Good luck with the second half. Back to you, boys. Thanks very much, Nick. So half time here at um, the Harpers Field, Golden Grove Oval. We have the Kookaburras well in front, 11-8-74. And they're leading CBC Old Collegian Dolphins on 3-2-20. We're going to go to a short break. And when we come back, we've got a real treat. We had an interview with... Uh, with the Golden Grove president, and uh, we'll uh, have a bit of uh, opportunity to chat with her and see how um, uh, how she sees the uh, events of the day, how they they're coming. So we'll go to a quick break, and then we'll be back with that interview.
out catch, where everyday Aussies are getting great deals, like Justin's Timber Rake, Sylvester's Cologne, Celine's Dijon, and Camilla's Pasta Bowls. For millions of products, everyday Aussies check out catch. Well, welcome back, viewers. As we see the mini league out here, that's the future of Golden Grove right there, out there on the field. And uh, we've got a special treat today. We had uh, Vince was able to get hold of the president, Kate Grandy, and it is their 25th anniversary. And so spoke about a little bit of the history of the club as well as the, the current day setup. So we'll have a look at our interview with Kate right now. Yes, welcome here to the Golden Grove Football Club, and I'm here with the president of the Golden Grove Football Club, Kate. Welcome to the uh, broadcast. Thank you very much. Great to be here. No worries. So, uh, 25 years, significant milestone for the club, from uh, juniors starting in 95, and then seniors, 97. And if we have a look at the honour board, we can see that uh, your name is prominent from <laughs> for most of that period. So you've been around a long time. Uh, talk to us about your journey over the past 25 years with the Golden Grove Footy Club. Well, I came uh, to be as part of the senior side of things in uh, 97. Uh, my husband actually came as an inaugural B-grade coach and player. And uh, from there, I took on multiple roles, team manager, secretary, trainer now, all sorts of things all the way through um, and ultimately in the last three years as president of the club. Yep. Yes. And secretary one year as well, I noticed. Oh, yeah, that's a, well. bit of, bit of a double up that year. <laughs> um, and yes, you've got the pink top on un underneath. Uh, the girls are playing today on the lower oval. They are. Both our A's and B's are playing today. So we've got a pretty massive day with five senior teams here. And we had the Oz kick this morning, keeping us on our toes as well. So very, very big day. And the, uh, the Guernsey, if we, we've got a, a copy of the original Guernsey just around here to my right, and the guys will be wearing a special replica of that today? They will. So our original Guernsey from 95 is actually the current Guernsey we're playing in now. So what the replica is today is our first senior Guernsey. Yep. So we've used that as our replica today. So it's uh, really fantastic to go back in time. And, and uh, there was actually a photo on Facebook this week with the old and the new, yep. which was really fantastic as well. Yep. Yes. Excellent. And um, uh, potentially some uh, work, I noticed on your um, website that you may have um, some redevelopment happening in the area. It's still very early stages though? Yes, it is very early. We've been very fortunate to have the council involved with um, obtaining a grant for $6 million for us and, wow. then, and okay. then matching that $6 million with another six of their own. So $12 million to redevelop the, the building here yep. and other works. Um, it is very early days, so yep. we're still uh, not even started the major planning of it yet yep. but soon to come hopefully yeah excellent yes. excellent so plenty plenty happening and plenty to look forward to for the next uh, 25 years then especially if that uh, comes on board over the next few years Absolutely. so yeah so uh, just one quick one because I know you've got your training duties to get back to with the girls to finish uh, plans obviously for this evening or anything uh, coming up Yep, so uh, we've incorporated our past players day today, so we're, we'll be um, continuing on the, to, into the evening with, with those guys and all our ex-supporters, um, well, current and past, yep. supporters, players, committee, volunteers, everybody involved. So hopefully it will be a very big day for the club where there's quite a crowd starting to build up yep. already, which is really fantastic. Yep. Yes. Excellent. Well, we'll let you get back to uh, training to get ready for the girls. Thank you for your time. Um, significant day, as we said, for the for the club, 25th anniversary. Good luck up at the top oval and down the bottom oval. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. No worries. Thanks very much. Cheers. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Check out Catch, where everyday Aussies get extraordinary savings. Like Salma's Kayak, Ned's Telly, Brad's Pit and Reese's Wooden Spoon. For everything they need, everyday Aussies check out Catch. Thank you. 
Get a quick and easy low-rate car loan from Police Credit Union today. Check out Catch, where everyday Aussies get what they need for less. Like mixed joggers, Bill's Gate, Sarah Jessica's Parker and Kim's Car Dash Cam. For all the brands they love, everyday Aussies, check out Catch. Catch, where everyday Aussies are getting great deals, like Justin's Timber Rake, Sylvester's Cologne, Celine's Dijon, and Camilla's Pasta Bowls. For millions of products, everyday Aussies, check out Catch. Check out Catch, where everyday Aussies get extraordinary savings. Like Salma's Kayak, Ned's Telly, Brad's Pit and Reese's Wooden Spoon. For everything they need, everyday Aussies check out Catch. Get a quick and easy low-rate car loan from Police Credit Union today. Check out Catch, where everyday Aussies get what they need for less. Like mixed joggers. Bill's Gate, Sarah Jessica's Parker and Kim's Car Dash Cam. For all the brands they love, everyday Aussies, check out Catch. OK, welcome back here to Harpers Field. Half time here uh, in the senior A grade fixture. Golden Grove, 11 8 74, leading CBC Old Collegians, 3 2 20. Only outscored by two points in that quarter. CBC Tony so uh, it'd be interesting to see what the difference is in the stats there considering they had a very good second quarter. You are correct and uh, inside 50s were 19 to 13 so a lot closer that quarter. Uh, the tackling was 15 to 15 and it's 32 to 27 so they're only five off which it was at quarter time and then the ruck taps were 12 to 7 so they're on top in the ruck taps and uh, as I said, inside 50s were equal for that quarter. And uh, I did mention uh, they've got a lot of bigger players, uh, Golden Grove. And I talk about players like Ingram and uh, the big Ruckman out there running around Fernell and so on. But then they've got a great blend. They've got Luke Barmy that can run like anything. You've got Josh Habel that's yep. really doing a great connection there. Michael Walters straightens them up, although we did see him around the ground a bit. Jed Barnell, so their smalls are doing their job, the talls are doing their job, um, and they're out playing CBC quite comprehensively. But uh, it'll be interesting to hear what the boundary rider said because uh, I did notice he was very close to the huddle for CBC without letting any, uh, sorry for Golden Grove, without letting any secrets out. Did you actually hear anything in there, Nick? Yeah, just before I spoke to um, Ollie, I did hear a little bit. I was only about 10 metres away from where they were, but um, no, they, they were pretty disappointed considering their first quarter was you know so strong and then the second quarter they kind of stepped off the, the gas a little bit. So I suppose it was just a bit more of a whack over the head and uh, yeah, let's oh. extend the lead 
for the next half, but uh, they're looking pretty strong as, as we can see anyway. So we'll just we'll see watch what out, Nick, because the coach has just walked past and had a bit of a glare at you on the way through. And we've had about three clubs wanting you to play for them, so I don't know whether he's sizing you up to play for them or that uh, he's checking out your ears to hear what you, you're talking about uh, hanging around their huddle. But that's your role, mate. Fantastic. You've got to get in. In and under, as you do, as you would as a player. So well done there, and that's a great effort. He's learning on the on the fly, Vince, every week. Yeah, and I tell you what, we're getting some um, we're getting some scoops here on um, uh, uh, from him when he's out on the ground, and uh, certainly looking forward to uh, hearing more of what he's got to say. So CBC are in place here. Eric Kells is out on the half forward line here, uh, talking to a couple of people for Golden Grove there, and. Uh, they're just now coming into play. So, um, as we said, a very hot day, and it's not going to cool down today. No. We're, we're sitting here in short sleeves and uh, and so on. And the Archie songs, I tell you what, they are so comfortable today. We need, we, I reckon we need about half a dozen pairs oh, at the moment because there's a lot of lot of good players here uh, for Golden Grove, isn't there? And our boundary rider bought to us by Villies. Taste the difference. Our interchange bought to us by Interchanger, the hands-on AFL team rotation software experts. There's a lot of clubs around Adelaide Footy League who use dart fish. You're with Vince Cosme for the call of the third quarter. Okay, so Humpire about to loft the ball. Up it goes. So big uh, number 19, Fernil gets the tap. Couple of handballs. All oh, player pushed in the back there. That looks like he was pushed in the back by Barnell. And uh, that's going nowhere now. Uh, bit of a, uh, a bit of a, a wrestle or a rugby tackle there on the... Uh, on the uh, Dolphins players. So up it goes again. Punch forward by Fernell. Now the race is on. First one there is going to be Ingram. What can he do? He's out to, stripped out of the ball. So now the opportunity here for for the Dolphins. Missed handball. Picked up here by Marchiore. Jeez, he's having a real crack, Marchiore. Well played. So now the ball's just bobbling around here. Unable to take it. Shepard still coming out. Going to be kicked off the ground there by Ingram. Ball into the middle, just couldn't quite take it there. Couple of handballs there, just involved there, the captain, Samuel Raymond. Now there's a kick out to the far side. Ball's in dispute. Can't, a good following up there by Gabrielli. Couldn't actually take it. Oh, held without it there. Will Strange, does he get the free kick? No. Comes back out again. Here he is again. Now he gets the handball. Back out to Gabrielli. Kick inside, 50. Oh, there's a player all by himself. He just is rolling, rolling away. Cannot, is, can he keep it in? No, he can't. Oh, opportunity lost yes, there. He was, wasn't he? For CBC. <laughs> and it's a little bit of a uh, banter on between the players there. He's a bit slow to get up there. But, uh, oh, that was an opportunity lost there. He was all by himself. So, Matthew uh, D'Angelo. Was I that Matthew that D'Angelo? So in it comes. Ball spills it. No one at the back of the pack there, Tony. I know you go on about it. But now it's uh, hit the ground. Looks like that ball's not coming out. And the umpire's going to. He's taking his time. Have a look at him. Yeah. There's a big group down there. You can see on camera there. What There'd be 20 players in there. And then the next lot of group is is like almost in a line across here, about 30 metres off the ball. So interesting. That's probably a kick to, off the ball there, or a quick kick out, I should say. So Fernil with the tap down. No one's going to uh, take the ball out of that stoppage, and we'll have another ball up. And they've had it a long time in the forward line, almost two-minute mark now, CBC. And can they capitalise? You know, first out of the middle this quarter, down in the forward line, it's just bobbling around there. Now they're out here through uh, Connor Dodd, that was, on the left foot, and a nice kick to Braden Shaw, who's one of their better players the last few weeks. He just comes inside, player drops to one knee, and takes that ball, plays on, and that was Dwayne Schultz. We haven't called a lot of. Already they're into the forward line. Quick handball. Across it comes to Shepard. Shepard just misses the player there. Walters, so around it comes, and the big fella, Fernell. It's a long time between hand and foot. And, uh, you know, in the first quarter, Golden Grove would have got that down and had a shot at goal. And this quarter, they've just been held up there. So umpire comes in. A lot of players again around the ball. Just a clear tap now. Wilson can't quite get to it around there. Uh, Walters, that was, sorry, dribbling out. Now, the thing I was going to mention before, and you'll see now, when there's a ball up in the middle or a throw in like this, there's no wings on the far side. All the players are on this half of the ground. Another one of my little hates. The wingers are on the inside the square on this side of the ground at the moment. So it's congested footy. As you see, a quick bomb onto the boot there by Cotgrove. Around it comes. Handball outside. He's going to get it back, Cotgrove. Has he got a left foot? He hasn't. Runs on the right. 
deep into the goal square and just offline for a point. And Vince, going to have a look at these kick-ins, mate. What have they got, Seabock? So this is uh, going to be Thomas Daniel that kicks the ball in. Short kick. Well done. Finds Matthew Raymond. Raymond goes again out, out wide. Now they're outside 50. And the mark's been taken there. Comes back to Raymond. He goes again towards the ball up towards the wing this time. He's going to be intercepted. Oh. And Golden Grove are going to bring this straight back into the... Uh, into a, a shot at a goal. We're just going to try and check who um, who the player is here. Uh, hands up, so sun in the eyes. Uh, we've mentioned this earlier in the call. So the kick's now coming into the hot spot. Looking for, is that uh, Walters? That, that ball hit the ground then. Yeah, yeah did hit hand. the No, not, uh, not going to be paid. And so tackled immediately at uh, it was Walters, yes. Unlike the mark last quarter, which must go into the marks. With it. Well, that's right. The two-handed punch, and, then, two punch and then went back after it and took the mark. That's what happens. So, again, Pittman right uh, off reading the Ruckman. So, here is Jed Barnell. Barnell gets the handball off. Now the kick comes inside 50. Can't quite take the mark there, Walters. And there's opportunity here for Seabock to clear. And the bounce is just inside the boundary line. And that will be a uh, ball uh, throw-in. Nick, what have you got for us? No, we haven't got his uh, technically set up just at the moment. So, uh, ball comes in here for Seabock around. They come right along the boundary line. That was Jonty Rutai, the ruckman. Oh, first of the ball there, Jonathan Wadsworth. Can't quite get it in. Have we got you there, Nick? Yep, we'll see if this it works this time. So, just like the first quarter, um, Golden Grove have only lost one tap so far, and it shows they're getting first use through clearances as well. That's why they're dominating so far. Okay, so a lot of players around the ball. Rutide is goes up, bounces back to him, and he's held to him. A little clearance kick here. Goes back towards Raymond, who uh, gets after that ball. Can't quite take it. And Jed Barnell, geez, he's got quick feet. Oh, look at him too. Applies the tackle. A little pit bull. Around they go. And Todd Shepard, he's uh, really come into the play. He's one of the constructive players for them. I mentioned this a moment ago. Walters is after the ball. They've got a great spread of talls. They've got big, chunky players. They've got players that stream through. Talking about that, you'll see number 11 come into screen here, Josh Hable to the right of screen, uh, and number six there, Jake Pittman. Now, they, they've just ran about 30, 40 metres to get to this contest. Up it goes. They've got numbers around the ball. The Ruckman takes it out. Handball's outside. Hable, it is who I mentioned. Jeez, he's run a long way with that. And... There's a free kick, I believe. No, he ran out of bounds. He ran a long way to get into that contest when there was already a lot of players there, but you can see why. So in it comes because he gets possession. Player protects for the ball. Down it comes. Oh, geez, on to him there. Jake Pittman gets hold of you and jumps on your back. It does come out just outside 50, but they're going to load up again. Barmby's had a real lot of it as well, Vince, and uh, yep. nice little kick in. They've played on. Connor Dodd. He's getting a lot of it. In it comes, and this time it's a mark. I would suggest that is, uh, this is uh, Ashcroft, Charlie Ashcroft. Haven't called a lot of him. Just coming outside 50. No wind to speak of. We are directly behind this kick, and they constructed that one, Golden Grove. See if they can get a bit of a run on seven minutes into the quarter. Runs out a little bit to the right and kicks it straight through the high diddle diddle. Does he? And they're going to come running after, to him. Yes, faded after that kick. Don't, don't so fantastic there for Charlie Ashcroft. First game uh, playing C grade in round five last year. And uh, let's not forget, there's only... Uh, last what, year. Last year playing C grade uh, uh, in round five. So what do we got? Four minor round games, three finals. So that was only... Seven, 13 games ago, he's playing C grade, and he's progressed through playing his first game today, and uh, well done, Charlie Ashcroft. And he's happy too, and that's the number he's got on his back, number 13. So, ball back in the middle now. Umpire just throws it up in the air. Golden Grove, clear tap, straight towards Jake Pittman. Can't get it. So they come forward again, CBC here. Nice kick, and that's a towering mark. That is a really good stretch up by Jonathan Wadsworth, it was, and... He's going to have a shot, probably 35 out now. A lot of players, you'll see in pitcher again, a lot of players around this ball. So they are still, Vince, 
10 minutes into this quarter almost, they are following the ball up and down the ground a fair bit. It might come down to fitness in the last quarter, but uh, fair lead on the scoreboard. So in he comes. Straight in front, is he bent the... Yeah, he bent the knee a fair bit there. So, Nick, what have you got for us on the boundary? It's just interesting. Uh, a lot of teams that we've seen this year li have liked to implement a press. CBC aren't looking to be one of those teams. They've got most of their guys, most of their defenders hanging around the centre square and uh, towards their defensive side. So it's an interesting tactic that they've implemented since the second quarter and it looks like it's worked not too bad for them. Congestion football, we call it, and... Uh that's a good pick up there, Nick, because uh, out now, Golden Grove aren't getting all their own way and it's forced for a boundary throw in, Vince. Yes, yeah, so it's interesting that obviously since uh, by this time in the first quarter, they already had uh, uh, four goals on the board. And, um, and so far this quarter, they've got the one goal there through Ashcroft and um, the uh, Dolphins holding up quite well since quarter time. So ball in the middle of the ground, oh, big bump there on Wadsworth. He's a bit, or he's a bit slow, bit slow to get up. Play continues on. Kick goes in forward. Good kick in by Ingram. Mark, unfortunately, not taken there by Walters, but he backs up. Second go at it. Spots something up he likes, and there's a short pass to Pittman. Pittman not been in the middle a lot since the first quarter. He's uh, been moved forward. So and Wads sorry, yeah, Wadsworth, Wadsworth still, 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 down still in back play. Uh, sorry, uh, in back play um, they're just checking into him now. He's the uh, recruit they picked up from uh, the Goodwood Saints. So uh, looking, um, I think he might uh, be a bit winded yeah. potentially. So, probably but the thinks, ball, yeah, probably thinks he's back at Goodwood at the moment. <laughs> oh, the ball with uh, Pittman. So in he comes, left foot, and umpire doesn't move. Goal to Jake Pittman. That is his third goal. He has kicked one in every quarter. And that now takes the score to Golden Grove 12-9-81 and CBC 3-3-21, Tony. And I'll tell you what, he's got a nice left foot on him too, Vincent. One of the beautiful things about community football, look at that, the young, uh, young mother there just wandering by with a wine, but there's a lad down here with a Zooper Duper. Couldn't we do with a zooper duper on a day oh, like this? Have a look at it. Frozen ice, and uh, I reckon the players might be one after of one of them. Years. Anyway, yeah. up it goes in the middle. Oh, big swatting tap there. Oh, he put the body in too, Jonty Ruto. He has a go, but uh, Golden Grove pushing forward. Our oh, player just led to the ball. That was really well read there, and I reckon that's Porcelli, it may be. So uh, he's now going to come out this side of the ground. Kicks it high and wide. Player had to contest there. As I said before, Sam Madigan is about uh, 63 kilos ringing wet. And, jeez, uh, up against the big fella there, Josh Ingram, is about 120 kilos ringing wet. So uh, almost double Vince or something like that. So <laughs> throw in here. You see it. Look at him standing next to each other there on the screen. Oh, he's not going to outbody him, but he can outrun him. Anyway, down they go. Ingram goes forward. Can they get it to him? No, it doesn't quite. He's been lively too, this young player. Is, uh, Thatch it is. And player put down after disposal. Player number 22, Lachlan Jorn. We haven't called a lot of... Geez, let me take a breath. He's inside again. That was Pittman. He's a bit of an architect and he sets it up. Constructive play. And they have a shot on goal here. And he's been quite lively too, this lad. I've liked him. Uh, Jared Cotgrove. Sort of a good size. He's not super tall, but good size. Very athletic in his movements. And uh, very colourful boots, so I hope he kicks it. Anyway, we've given him a fair rap, Vince. Anyway, comes in, lines him up. Does oh, he jumps off no. both feet. Wow, bang. And he's kicked that a proverbial country mile. And well done, Jared Cotgrove, when you watch this back, mate. Fantastic. Look at the boots. They've got every colour of the rainbow in them. Here he comes. This waltz is in. Oh, geez, Inside fits it. Look how he punches this ball. Does, doesn't Bang. he? Bang. Nice kick. Both yep. feet off the ground. You know, there's a few little things, nuances. So uh, you're with Vince Cosme. Ball in the middle, Vince. So umpire about to uh, ball it up now. They're starting to uh, assert their authority again here. Up it goes. Big punch there by Samuel Wrench. So the ball's now moved forward. Kick forward by 22. That's uh, Sean, and that ball's gone over the back of uh, everyone, and there'll be a boundary throw in right 
next to the behind post at the northern end of the ground. So he's going down the hill. Just got into it, Sean, in the last couple yeah. of minutes. He's been quite constructive. So in it comes now. Ruckman go up again. Oh, Walter's going up for the ruck, but neither ruck, no one at the back, Tony. One of your pet hates. Pittman's got it now. Little dinky little kick. Well played. And the mark's been taken there uh, for Golden Grove, and it Walters looks like again. that's Walters again. So he, involved, didn't, he was involved in the ruck contest, and now he's out the other side of the ground. Yep. So good uh, anticipation and good running away from the contest, and he'll be having another shot on goal. I think this is his um, this is his third, uh, three or three he's got, so this is an opportunity for him to kick his fourth goal. And how far back he's come again. We, yep. I know we keep mentioning, but he's coming out of the centre square there. So in he comes. Just about to exit the centre square into the 50. That looks like that has f that took take that little bit of uh, left to right and that has yep. faded across and he's actually missed uh, on that occasion. So ball just coming back in here. It's going to be Raymond that's going to um, find something outside that he likes. Oh, he's missed the target there. Poor Chelly. I don't think that's been uh, and I think don't think he left the square. So. Does that mean it's actually a free kick? Yep. Uh, no. 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 Because no. that happened down Allen. Jake Pittman just coming off for rest as well. He didn't look yeah. too happy coming past. So um, up it goes. Uh, uh, Mark yeah. Uro going up in for the, the tap. Well done, mate. So um, up it goes. Now he's back in uh, just hovering around this contest, but the umpire will come in and he'll ball it up. So ball on the far side by the... Uh, there's a light tower and there's also... A, I don't know if it's telecom, but the big tower there for all the... Uh, Phones and everything. Anyway, around it comes. Oh, just a... Uh, I know I say it every week. I've got to put it in there. It's almost a rolling mall, that one. Player held in. And they push him around. and They're out of that little bit wider. Any any wider, they'll be in the bush out there. Anyway, up it goes. He throws it towards the Golden Grove player. Oh, just a little tap back. Ball on the ground. A quick soccer. Oh, uh, comedy of errors. CBC goes up in the air. Three to four players run at it player just waited for the Golden Grove player that's reactive or proactive. He waited for the Golden Grove player to take it, Jonathan Wadsworth, and then applied the tackle. So ball now close to the centre half forward. See number 35 there, Ingram, just waiting out here. CBC player can't get it. Takes off now, Ingram, but CBC just a bomb forward. So players are sprinting after this ball. There's a big ruckman here at the back who's... Oh, the bounce just beats him. So around it comes... He gets it back now. Oh, he goes around. Sam Simon Fernell. He was waiting for the body to come at him, and it didn't come. And we've mentioned uh, Zorch come into it. Jean, sorry. And uh, just a nice little kick. This time we see Golden Grove hold the ball up as they try for a inside 50. Players fly. There's four CBC to one Golden Grove. So they are out. Lawrence Kenmore. Down it goes. Ball bounces. Jeezy. Almost ran himself back into trouble there, Nathan Burns. He could have got away. They've had two handballs backwards and gone back probably 30 metres. The ball now is back where it started. Players contesting. Put a saddle on him. Brings him to ground. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't really going anywhere, Vince, was it? Two handballs back and it's back where it started there with uh, Kenmore, I reckon it is. Yeah, so um, umpire now is going to ball it up uh, half forward. Again, no one up for CBC in the ruck contest so an easy takeaway for Wrench there but they managed to get the ball in towards forward 50 right at the back there, kick behind the players, a big ruckman Fernil gets the handball uh, across to Ooh. number 16 Schulz and um, they will bowl over there so now he's going to get the ball back against Schulz. Oh, spins out beautifully out of trouble, has a bounce, gee that's dangerous tackled, breaks the tackle, now gets the kick out Kick just a little bit high. Opportunity here for CBC to get the ball back inside 50. And, oh, oh unlucky Good there. Grab. Good grab. Ball, that looked like Carl Harris had his name written all over it. And they've got the opportunity out here now. Oh, Mark dropped there by Walters. Bundled over the Two. ground by former North Adelaide. Another former North Adelaide junior in Tom Daniel. That was Rowan Shenton who took that grab back there. And yep. you see the big fella. We've caught him a couple of times. Fernell's the spare one back now. Playing as a quarterback. Spare back. Oh, so Barnaby now the uh, yeah the balls uh, thrown in by the boundary umpire. Good take there. That's uh, Marchiora again. Gets the handball. Ball come out now to Daniel. Just kick smothered. Looking there to grab it. Connor Dodd's going to be pushed over the boundary line along with the ball. 
and that will be another boundary throw in. This is uh, literally, like I said, five to ten metres from our commentary no position one, here. No one behind him. Look. No one behind again. Let's see what happens. It's going to be a little bit short. Good stuff there. That looks like it's and a free kick. No, no, it's going to be balled up. But it's a good work there by John T. We like the way he goes about it. Up it goes again. But one breaks even. Good shark there by Habel. Gets the ball forward. Contested here. It's, it's Walters. Gets the handball out. Ball now in dispute. Let's get CBC get the ball forward. There's a nice looking kick going inside 50. One hand on it there by um, number 35 there. That was uh, uh, Ingram, of course, yep. and now that he's managed to get the ball, they've gone out the other side, switch a play. So barmby has got it. So what's he going to do, Barmby? Spotted something he likes and uh, ball right out there on the other side of the ground. Now something inside. That's going to go through to Shepard. Shepard's been a link-up player for them uh, in the last couple of quarters. He's looking to see what he can do with it. Short kick, found someone there. So now the ball's inside 50, switches on. Out here all by himself is Ingram. Oh, he's dropped the mark. Now it might be an opportunity here for CBC. Marchioro, what can he do? A couple of goes at kicking Looking it. Oh, he's overrun it. And now, oh, good pick up. Nice, clean pick up there by Col Koslik. So he's got the ball inside 50. Tackled there was Shaw. Now the ball is uh, coming out to, I think that's number 12, which is that. He's got the ball inside oh. 50. Oh, big mark taken there by the Walters. And player hurt, and player hurt too, down there. Uh, that's uh, number Kenmore. 35. That's Kenmore. But, uh, gee, good one-grab take there by Michael Walters. So just a little bit going on in black play. Ingram here, I reckon he's done the thumb in that uh, marking contest. So he's taken himself off for Golden Grove and not looking too happy. He's just coming past the van now as players Thumb just strapped milling up too. around. Yeah. Yep. So, Walters, it is Vince at Senar Ford. Yeah, so Walters with his familiar long run up. He's going to just wait for a, a little bit of a kick, move out to the right hand side and a bit of a skip. There he goes. Kicks in. A little bit of left to right. I think he may have snuck that in. Yeah, a just got to. Uh, no. <laughs> CBC players well, just yes, walking no, around. They're, they're, and, uh, they're, uh, yeah, so there you go. Not, I, think, uh, I think they're... Um, that's his fourth. I think what's is. happening, Vince, is uh, you saw Walters drop a, an easy mark before. We saw uh, Ingram, of course, coming off, dropping an easy mark. I keep saying 2% dehydration. Your thinking starts to go out the, the window. Your skills tend to drop. And uh, players' fatigue is going to take its toll. Uh, 21 minutes in to the third quarter. A few players now standing with hands on hips. The wingers aren't charging in. They're just standing. Up it goes in the middle. Oh, taken out of the air. Jeez, he almost dropped that. He did, did. drop that. And uh, we've both mentioned uh, John T. Ruai has been really good in the ruck for CBC today as he kicks that ball forward but turns it over. As soon as we give him a wrap, this is what happens. So Rowan Shenton, who took that towering mark earlier in the quarter, has a look around. Nice kick, and uh, Todd Shepard, you kick, picked it before, sets up. Josh Habel running past, and if he does what he did earlier, Habel will get this back. He can't get down there quick enough. Oliver Graham, the captain, goes outside. Player comes inside his Barmy. That's a long kick across the fat side. They manufactured that uh, very well and kicked. They actually kicked that across the goals from the yep. far side, and I think you'll find this is Connor Dodd, number 21, that's got the ball. And it is, of course, the uh, jumpers these days made of polyester as opposed to the old days. The, imagine a day like this, Vince, With 24 degrees, jumper. the old woolly jumpers. They'd be <laughs> drenched in sweat. The socks would be down over your boots. Left footer now, comes in very accurate. And yeah. he has kicked it. And Connor Dodd has kicked two also. Michael Walters, of course, is... Uh, Main scorer with four, and I reckon he's kicked two or three points as well. Yep. Down to Nick on the boundary. Nick, what have you got for us, sir? Yes, uh, Golden Grove now seven scoring shots from their last 11 inside 50. So a little bit like the first quarter in terms of their efficiency going forward. Well, it's one thing to get the ball down there, but it's keeping it down there, Vince, isn't it? And, and making the most of that. it. That's right. Yeah, that That's kick right. in there and, and a held mark and then... A shot at goal. So, ball in the middle of the ground, Vince. Yeah, let's see what uh, what they can do. Well, the uh, tap again there by Fernell, but it uh, looks like it might be picked up. Quick kick out. It's coming out towards our broadcast side of the ground. Ooh. First one there is Wadsworth. 
His kick goes in towards forward 50. Oh, that's a good mark in the middle of that pack. Excellent mark taken there by number one. That's Gabrielli. He's probably been one of their better players. Oh, floating, on. floating kick. Good luck, <laughs> good luck marking that one. Marchioro at the back can't quite keep it in. But um, here, there, there's going to be a ball up here now just inside the uh, uh, behind the behind post for... Um, for the Dolphins. So in it comes. Nice big high throw. Fernell with the tap. He's up against uh, Carl Harris, the coach. And uh, that ball's going nowhere. No, Carl Harris doing all the ruck work in the forward 50. Undersized. Helped up there too. Uh, uh, from yeah. height. And uh, helped up by uh, young, uh, by Pittman there. So well done. Up it goes again. He's, looked, oh, he's almost got the tap. Almost had a second bite at it as well. Golden Grove player tackled there by Marchioro. Yeah. The other thing, Vince, they've got it down inside their 50. They've got to hold it there. Oh. We need a score. Come on. Let's see what happens here. So, tackling hard again. I think it's Mortuara at the, at the um, bottom of that pack. Tackled by Pittman. He's been called holding the ball. Geez, you're not going to get away from a Jake Pittman tackle. Three ball ups in a row. Look at uh, yep. Todd Shepard here running out wide. He's, it goes shorter in the pocket there, and that's Shenton. And he's having a look. So, Shenton now with the kick. He's found something he likes just outside 50. A good, strong mark taken there by Barmby. Under pressure. That ball took a while to get there. He's looking to switch. Got a player in the middle. Had to have to stretch there. Cockgrove, good take. Player running out from halfback, running out wide. And that's number nine, uh, Connor Hillcoat. His kick goes inside 50. And good mark there is being taken. And I think that's by Braden Shaw. Yeah, good so, transition. Um, excellent transition. The yeah, they actually came out this side, yeah. uh, almost to the broadcast position, then switched straight across the ground. Uh, he and did have to reach for it. Player number 29 there really had to get up and reach uh, Cockgrove. But once it got to there, look where it is now. And uh, they're in a good place, Golden Grove, aren't they, with their patterns of play? I like it. Yep, so in he comes. Kick from just around 50. Not quite going to get it. Oh, big fly. Was that Walters that went yeah. up high there? So Connor Dodd, first one to it. Oh, he's dropped it. And that's uh, going to spill over the boundary line. And, uh, geez, that was a big leap by, by Walters there, Tony. Connor Dodd, too. He would have had to try and get around on his left there. So it was a hard position. A lot of players around the ball. Once again, I know I've mentioned a lot, folks. But, uh, you know, a lot of players around that ball. And CBCC, they take it out of the air. And uh, he's a bulldog, Jake Pittman. And umpires giving a free kick to Golden Grove, and it's going to Pittman. So uh, umpire let that play go and go and go, and Pittman has somehow picked up a free kick here. Now it's going ah, uh, so there must have been a little bit I of think, something else a, going on. Uh, in the ruck background. infringement yeah. there, so Wrench has got Wrench it. Yeah. Is, so Pittman goes over and gives him a tap. Amazing, he didn't ask for the handball because he's done everything <laughs> else today. And I was going to say. Young Mortiaro giving him a few words of advice to him. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, <laughs> like that. In it comes. And what's he done? He's, uh, he's kicked it. Yep. So Mortiaro just runs off down the wing down here. <laughs> so he gets out of earshot. So nice goal there by Wrench. I'll tell you what, Vince. He's, he's got three, three as well. As exactly. Well. Um, this pair of thongs today, jeez. Barmby's been fantastic. Ingram's been good. Probably died out a little bit second quarter. Koslick's been great. Uh, Walters with four goals. Barnell's got two, Pittman's got, got three, three yeah. and really been instrumental. And Todd Shepard has been in it. And, yeah, uh, as a link-up player through the yeah. middle. So, but gold, uh, sorry, CBC as well. Gabrielli, Matthew Raymond's been good. Brand down back, Johansson, yeah. number 28. So Rutai's ba Yeah, Rutai's battled hard in the ruck. So Mortiaro now in the middle. He gets the clearance. So the ball inside 50, bouncing ball. Excellent pick up there by Rowan Shenton. He's quarter. got the uh, tumble punt going out wide. One bounce, two bounce. It's gone straight over that. Just said opportunity here for Seabock. That looks like it might end up going out of bounds. It does. Tackle applied there by Josh Ingram. And the... Boundary up by, yeah, yeah, game Another clock one. for Adelaide Starbus, 27 and a half minutes. Golden Grove well on top here. So umpire's going to throw that up. Let's see what happens. Oh, player there, number 21, Connor Dodd, uh, able to go in there and actually have a tap himself. And there's the three-quarter time siren. So 28 minutes on the Adelaide Starbus game clock for that quarter. And on the Sports Interactive scoreboard, we have Golden Grove. 17 goals, 10, 112, leading CBC Old Collegians, 3 3, 21. I make that a margin of 91 a lot. points. 
So around about 15 goals in the in old terms. So uh, our boundary riders heading out to the Golden Grove huddle for the third uh, three-quarter time break. So we're interested to see what uh, he comes back with. In the meantime, we're going to go to a short break. And uh, when we come back, we'll hear what the coach of Golden Grove, Eric Kells, has had to say. Everyday Aussies are getting great deals like Justin's Timber Rake, Sylvester's Cologne, Celine's Dijon, and Camilla's Pasta Bowls. For millions of products, Everyday Aussies, check out Catch. Check out Catch, where everyday Aussies get extraordinary savings. Like Salma's Kayak, Ned's Telly, Brad's Pit and Reese's Wooden Spoon. For everything they need, everyday Aussies check out Catch. Get a quick and easy low-rate car loan from Police Credit Union today. Check out Catch, where everyday Aussies get what they need for less. Like mixed joggers. Bill's Gate, Sarah Jessica's Parker, and Kim's Car Dash Cam. For all the brands they love, Everyday Aussies, check out Catch. And welcome back. And uh, we've got our boundary rider, Nick, going to give us something from, I believe, the Golden Grove side of things. So uh, what have you got for us, Nick? Yes, boys, I was in the Golden Grove huddle for the three-quarter time break. Uh, they need, <laughs> they need a bit more you. talk. Um, around the stoppages. Uh, the last two quarters, CBC have had a little bit of their way. Um, they've identified that CBC have gone a bit more man-on-man, -man, so they're looking to go a bit harder on the footy. We'll see what they do this last quarter. They'll probably look to step the foot on the gas a little bit more, earn some percentage out of this game going into uh, the game against Flinders Park next week. Yeah, that's interesting. So a little bit more if uh, CBC got more man-on-man, -man, so get harder at the ball. And interesting comment there about uh, getting some percentage, remembering that they were actually mm. the, the fourth highest scoring side and the third best percentage in the uh, in the league at the moment. And it's not today or next week, it's uh, in the last few rounds that that's going to uh, yep. make an impact. Vince. So we've got a couple of statistics if we're ready for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Inside 50s were 12 to 8. Although they, they really stretched that margin by 38 points that quarter. Um, so obviously what you said in the, in the call was the amount of times that they scored from inside 50s. The tackling was uh, 17 to 15. Pretty So even. very close, 49 yep. to 42 in total. Ruck taps, 22 to 8 yep. for the quarter. So really on top in the ruck taps, which of course means the clearances, which leads us to Jake Pittman around the ground doesn't yeah it? but also it's been it's just been a, a a question mark on the amount of times that cbc actually haven't had someone go up for the um yeah for the, for the tap uh, we noticed that probably the first two or three center uh you know center um uh ball ups by the umpire after goals were scored uh, a, a few times also around the ground um they just haven't 
um, got themselves sorted out around the stoppage today for uh, quite a few of the, uh, the stoppages that have occurred. So it would be interesting to see see uh, if that if that continues. Got a couple of young players, Gabrielli and um, Marchiori are in the middle now. So yes. And it uh, looks like they're, they're giving uh, Kenmore maybe an opportunity in the, uh, in the ruck here to, um, to start the fourth quarter, Tony. So we're just waiting for the CBC players down the far end. You see the umpire looking to the right, making sure that they're, uh, they're actually getting into position because it's a long way back to the change rooms from down there. So umpire holds the ball aloft. Last quarter, up it goes, bathed in sunshine. Big punch forward. Can they get it out? Oh, bang! That's what the coach asked for. And that play is still down for CBC. And there's a kick forward to Walters. Vince, they said they needed to go hard at it when it became physical. And bang, out of the first bounce. You see that. And they're very, very slow to get up. The poor old CBC player. And this is Walters. He's kicked four. He's uh, going He's for a handful here, young he, Walters. He goes right back to the middle of the ground. Again, which yep. seven couple of little technical issues but uh back up we'll now keep calling you calling it through spins that ball around just wanders across the 50 meter line now should be within range bit of a skip jump oh, and yes. that is a sausage roll a goal a monty a six pointer straight through the high diddle diddle whatever you like to call it but uh Let's see whether they can actually get a run on now. That's uh, Walter's fifth, so he's looking for a pair of thongs. Um, <coughs> pardon me, him and Pittman. So this will be interesting when the ball gets back to the middle. Will they get two in a row out? Can they capitalise on that? Because now you start looking at next week. Can we get two out of the middle? Can we get three out of the middle? Whatever it may be. So ball back in. So umpire here just uh, about to ball it up. Up it goes. Ruckman at it again. Clear tap that time to Samuel Wrench. But the ball's taken away there. Good takeaway by Raymond in the middle. His kick goes inside 50, but uh, Mark's been taken at the back. I reckon that's... Um, uh, is that uh, Barnby back there? It's got the kick out wide. Wide out here. Oh, here's uh, Luke Barnby. Yeah, that's Barnby's got it now. So you go. You're ahead of the, ahead was, of the curve. Oh, that's it. I was calling it before it happened. There's a uh, kick out to Cockgrove. Cockgrove having a very good second half. Just surveying his options at the moment. Uh, eyes are darting, looking around. Looks like the kick now is going to go up towards the uh, forward pocket. Oh, Walters almost again taking the mark. He's battled in. Uh, this, <laughs> straight away at the bottom of the pack is Pittman again. He's yeah. like a he's like a bull terrier. Might have so, been one thong each. So, one size 12 and one size 8. <laughs> so now the ball's uh, going to come up. Oh, quickly coming in is big uh, Simon uh, Fernell gets the tap down. Uh, now it's the ball's in his feet. Oh, push, push in the back there by Barnell. Doesn't give up the free kick, though. Just have a look uh, how he tapped that last one, Vince Fernell. He did the backhander. Yes, yeah, so, so he let's see. He, he obviously it. Oh, got a call to... Oh, oh, he doesn't go up that time, and it's a massive punch by Barnby. Could be the first one there. It's going to be Golden Grove. That's uh, Is that Todd Shepard, I think, yeah. in the forward line there that's actually being tackled? And no, nothing uh, going to come out of that... Uh, Exchange and a good tackle there by uh, Michael Watkins. So umpire now with the ball about 30 metres out from the Golden Grove goal. Up it goes. Oh, player barging through, just tripped himself up. A lot of congestion around here. Out they come, can't get it out. So player goes back in himself and he's uh, put in a mighty effort in there. And that's Max Koslick. Look at them all around the ball. Back it comes again. They're out to go in. Ingram it is now. Just sets it up with a long bomb. Two on two. Oh, Walters couldn't quite take it a off. Good Quick smother. smother there. Walters is back after it. Pushes a player out of the way. We've talked about that argy-bargy. Can't quite get it up. Jeez, what a comedy of errors. Now we need the little fast feet. This way, that way by Barnell. Gets it back inside. Can they line up? Oh, just fakes around. Oh. Goes the check side and has missed it. And uh, that is right. Braden Shaw. Just see, he did all the hard work to get into space. Look at them all around that ball, pushing, shoving. Out it came. Thought this player was going to have a shot at goal. Came back in, gave it. I'll just go around you, then I'll do a check side. Bang. Well, so the kick comes in. Nice kick out. Oh, no one contesting for CBC. That's a, a easy. Could have been a chess mark to Ingram. Looks for a little kick forward. 
I reckon the handball here is going to end up with Shenton. It does. Oh, Shenton's kick. No. That's a fantastic goal. Yeah, good lad. Good goal there from Rowan Shenton from on the boundary line. We had a good vision of that on this side of the ground. That's a really, really good kick for goal. Have and a look that's, at uh, here, that's his first. So the he kick was partially there. smothered. Yeah. He was partially. He looked like he was going to get it right out on the boundary line boundary here. And boundary. he has just hit the eye of a needle there. Umpires didn't have to move. So well done, and Rowan Shenton. And uh, one thing I've been mentioning all game is that uh, the big fella there, Ingram, has been running on. Well, I'll tell you what, he kicked that one and stood still. And Shenton has gone back to the half-back flank. So ball in the middle of the ground. That's a running backman's goal from the boundary. Get him up forward, they say. So Habel it is. Can't get over the ball. It's just bouncing around. A lot of players around it. And Jean it is. Held to him and flung around there. And CBC player in the middle just getting up. And I reckon that's Rutai is now have, going to have to go up in the ruck. Well, he didn't. Once again, one of their letdowns. So Shepard it is comes out. Did he almost... Well, we won't talk about how he got rid of it. But uh, Ingram it is who did drop it. So a free kick now to Samuel Madigan. It's been an interesting battle. We've talked about it. Madigan, uh, not the heaviest of players up against Ingram. But he's done well here with a free kick sun in his eyes you'll see the shadows will get longer across the ground he goes just short there so ball still in the back half for them play it see one player leads forward for cbc now a second player leads and kick goes that way tired effort there and geez they mop up well golden grove puts it into congestion now they come out this side around they go hill coat Short little chip kick, and I'll tell you what, Walters is looking for a pair of thongs, Vince. He, yep. he knows the arch is here. We've got a trunk full of them down there. What do you reckon, about a size, size 10, 11 there? I reckon he could be at 11. He's, uh, I'll tell you what, this, he's going to walk in here with us. He's up on the wing. There's a centre circle behind him. So he takes a massive run up. The starting, player on the mark is right from on the, the commentary 50. box. Yeah. Oh, Benicilli. Off the side screen. He's off the Michael Holding run here, but uh, so we, we reckon he's here. got 5-3 so far. Yep. Having so a fair game. Just spinning that ball around. He'll go a little bit. He'll run towards us a touch. There's a skip. Out towards us. Nice kick off the boot. He's pulled that a little bit left. No worries with the distance. And uh, what's he kicked? 5-4, has he? 5-4, I reckon. Might now. give him two left foot, left footed thongs <laughs> in for that. <laughs> Right, Vince, you're on. Okay, so the ball's with Daniel in the back pocket. Uh, he looked to play on, but didn't. Uh, Madigan's giving him a little, little lead, but he's going to go across goal. Spotted something that he likes. Gee, that's a right good kick. kick. Good kick to Brand. So Brand's going to go out the other side as well. Oh, does misses the target in Porcelli. Now he's got to work, and that's going to beat him over the boundary line. So seven minutes into the quarter, you don't need that to test the hamstring. Oh do no. You? No, so uh, right in front of the scoreboard here, we're going to have a boundary throw in. So Golden Grove uh, in attack, uh, the two big ruckmen, Wrenchen and Rutai. So balls uh, tapped down. Back, back up after it again was uh, Todd Shepard, but cause couldn't take up. Now he's ba back up and actually applying the tackle. And we're uh, not going to see a lot of, a lot of uh, action there until the... Uh, Umpire throws it up, which he does now. No one again for CBC. They have not sorted that out all day. So ball tap forward. Shepard's got it now. Oh, tried to get the handball. Does eventually get it to Graham. Another couple of handballs. Running off the half back here. There's that Connor Hill coat it is. Now the kick's going to come across. Oh, wow. Connor Dodd, he's got 40 metres. He can stroll in and kick the easiest of goals. How does he get that free inside 50? Connor Dodd. And so now he has three as well. They're sharing it around. And um, I just don't understand how a player can be that free inside 50. I was actually going to say on that last uh, stoppage, Vince, players are spread out around the ground. They're not getting across. They're not like the Little League where they're all getting yep. down around the ball. So he really was just standing out here on his own. Yep. Um, they, once again, three or four handballs, short little kicks. The, as you described it, the players off the back line running past yep. to get that. And uh, it's, it's a team game, as we see, and they're playing as a team at the moment. And he ran in, strolled in for a goal. So in the middle now, second effort. He's uh, got a little bit of the ball too, Valor Thratch, uh, this quarter. Player just dragged off it now. And unfortunately for CBC, they're just a hat kick out. Player leading for the ball here. Player number 16, Dwayne Schultz, and it just bounces out. 
ahead of himself and uh, looking that might have been Applin or sorry Marchioro who's put in a, a gallant effort so you'll see number six in there Jake Pittman one of the danger men for the clearances no one behind the ruckman but it dropped short so just bobbles around this player also really done a great job uh, under duress Rutai and the Still player going. applying the tackle of course was Pittman so they're under pressure here oh player just bangs it on the boot and the good thing about the Adelaide Football League is that uh, Samuel Raymond, that's not called deliberate. No, that's You get away be with a, that. That'll so be a boundary throw umpire throwing. just moves in. Ruck and set themselves. No one behind them. So there's what happens. Out the back it comes and just a free kick. Kicks in the centre forward. Oh, he tripped himself really. So good umpiring there. Player who just kicked the last goal. Dodd has to get on his left. Is that his Achilles heel? Now, Thatch it is. Jeez, he gave that plenty of air. Player left his man to come out. That there's three of them there, CBC players, and this is Thomas Daniel with the ball. Vince. Yeah, so Thomas Daniel, another former North Adelaide junior, kicks it to uh, Samuel Madigan. That's a good one grab from Samuel Jeez, Madigan. They've got a young side, so you know if they can if they can uh, do enough to stay into uh, dip four. All these players are getting benefit. Well done, Mortiaro. Just pushed his opponent out under the ball. But uh, Connor Hillcoat's going to take that one over the boundary line. We're going to have a boundary throw in. So, you know, they, they're obviously building for, uh, for an opportunity. Maybe not this year, but uh, they've just got to do enough now to, um, uh, to uh, I'll potentially stay in Div 4. But if they don't, as we've said before, you know, it might actually be better for them to come up with, especially with a young side, in uh, potentially in uh, Division 5 next year. But long way, a lot of water to go under the bridge yet. Yep. So up it goes again, tap down again, uh, and that ball's going to bounce out over the boundary line, and we're going to do a, a th is this a third repeat? Yeah, here? Jake Pittman just walking past us, 10, 10 and a half, 11 minutes into the quarter. I reckon that might be about it, he, about, oh, about it for him, do you I think? Don't know. No, run him into the ground, Vince, get his fitness up for next week. Yeah, anyway, right. ball's in, players bobbling around there, oh, taking the ground. I'll tell you what, Marty Oro... He's done a great job there. He hasn't given up for CBC today as he trips over. I think he was looking the other way. Not sure which way. So now he's off. Oh, very clever. Round one, round two. Round Does he get a round three? And <laughs> and oh, no. You can't do it all, son. But uh, yeah. valiant, uh, valiant, valiant attempt effort, yeah. uh, until he almost tripped himself. So, geez, so relaxed, isn't he? This player, Connor Dodd, gets it out. And the big fella Ingram. with the crook thumb, Ingram. And Nick down on the boundary. Yes, so an interesting stat. Just elaborating on the, your dilemma with the, the ruck from CBC. 62 hit-outs to 15 for the entire game. Wow. wow. <laughs> okay, so... In unison. A, and uh, <laughs> retired is who, talking about the ruckman, takes it yeah. out of the air and receives a free kick. So, and, interesting. Go and on. When he's been uh, competing, he's actually done pretty well. He's Goes just, all right. Yeah. There's only, there's only one kick. of him, Vince, so... Long kick in. Oh, Machioro could almost backhand that to himself. Geez, how's the rebound here? Connor Hillcote. Out he comes. Oh, just taken as he kicked it. Oh, and there's a little bit on afterwards. You can see in back play there, Hillcote didn't like the attention he got. So they're off and running now. Have a look at uh, Habel's run from the half back line. He's called for the handball now. Doesn't get used. Barmby spearing kick, and that is a great grab. You can see him put his hand up for the son, Thomas Daniel. He's just having a look around. Now, what happens? CBC, they do one lead, two leads. Now it stops. A little bit static. Now a player leads out. So he has to kick to a 50-50. Oliver Graham gets up. CBC are out here. Let's see where the skills go. Not real flash, as we call that. Jonathan Wadsworth it is, but a lot of time and space. So they're coming backwards. They did this last quarter, Vince. 20 yeah. metres backward to come forward, and, and then they're missing the target. Golden Grove player spun right around there. Barmby tripped, kicks that <laughs> off, off the, the ground. ground. The party tricks are happening. Troy Kingham goes long in. Player uses his body well. Golden Grove now, one, two. Out it comes. So we saw that player up forward before, and I think now Samuel Raymond down back. Out wide. Can they set up? They're coming right to the 52 on one. Shepard maybe the sun there. Look at him streaming past. We called uh, Thatch earlier. Player on his own. This way, that way, Jed Barnell. Pops it up high, and Walters is going to line up for his sixth... Well, 
we say lining up for his sixth goal, but probably his tenth or eleventh shot, shot at goal, goal as yeah. we see a uh, CBC player just hobbling off and walking onto the ground is Jake Pittman, now into a trot as Barnby comes off a wealth of uh, talent out there. So, Michael Walters, five goals. The sun directly behind him. That doesn't make anything except the goal umpire squint. Well, I think he's got so, the shade there too with the tree yeah. now, the goal umpire. So. Out to the right a bit. Oh, oh look at just that. pops that through. And that will win you a pair of thongs on I'd uh, any uh, given day. Six, uh, I'd suggest six of the best. Vince, yeah, so Michael Walters it is. Uh, uh, unless Jake Pittman can quick a, kick a quick three. But he's had a great game, as well. Pittman, yeah. as well. So yep. uh, um, we are 15 minutes in on the... Adelaide Starbus on time, stress-free travel, and I think that's what uh, Golden Grove are doing at the moment, a bit of stress-free football there, Vince, at the minute. Yes, well, they wanted to um, uh, they wanted to put their foot down. It's uh, a, a going uphill. It's going uphill uh, in this um, last quarter, and they've kicked the only four goals of the quarter so far, so they uh, are heeding to their coach's instructions. Fernell can't quite take it out the ruck. Opportunity here for CBC to go forward now with Kenmore. Kenmore's kick inside 50. It's uh, going to be... No, it's not going to be cleared out. Golden Grove missed a handball, and that's going to then Jeez, give got another opportunity oh. here. That's uh, oh, that's the captain. Good pick up right. by Oliver Graham. Gets the ball out wide. And, uh, well, ridden into the ground with the tackle there. A strong tackle applied there. That was by Matt Raymond. And... That's uh, ended up over the boundary line. We're going to have a boundary throw in here. 16 minutes on the Adelaide Starbus game clock in the last quarter here. Big win coming up for Golden Grove. Tap down by Fernell. That's been uh, been uh, kicked forward now. And the number 13. That, yeah, good, that's um, gone out to number 13. Haven't called him for a Ashcroft, while. That's yeah. uh, Ashcroft. That's right. Uh, been off uh, on the bench for a while. The kick transition out to this side and uh, some good passing. I reckon they're looking for Walters again here. The What's Shaw going to do? Is Walters? Uh, oh, they've cleared it right out for him. They've, they've cleared it, up it right a out. Bit out this side, this quarter yeah, too. Yeah, Vince, you notice uh, that? And across. I reckon that there may be a bit of shade here. Could have something to do with it. Yeah, so I think Walters you're now getting her hold up by not watching Walters now. Oof. Again, uh, now the lead on from Big Wrench as well. But uh, I think Shaw's ignoring everyone. He's going to come right up to the 50 metre line and let's see what he can do. High kick. Is it going to make the difference? It's going to fall a bit short. One oh, grab, no. two. Oh, couldn't quite get it on the second <laughs> attempt. Walters, that's been pushed through for a minor score. And they'll have the opportunity for CBC. Uh, yet to trouble the scorers in this. this. This will be a little bit disappointing the way they're finishing. I'm finishing this game. Just interested in uh, Golden Grove when fatigue sets in, but uh, they're still setting up their zone on the kick in, and a lot of players are used in around that 50 metre forward. So behind the 50 metres down here, and I talk about this length will beat width. So if uh, CBC could have ran that ball out and got it over the top, they would have been out, out the back. So ball on the far side in front of the scoreboard here, and you'll see this next kick. There's a tiny little scoreboard down there. No, well, you won't see it because the ball's just bouncing. You'll just see to the left. Oh, we didn't get quite get it in the screen there. Look at those people sitting in the sun out there enjoying it. So, baking themselves out there. So, ball comes in now. Golden Grove right into the pocket up high. A player at the back sort of took the ball, took oh, the player out, trip? and then got the free kick. And that's Matthew Raymond. Been a bit in and out. So, Raymond, it is just come short. They've just been very static, haven't they, Vince? They, they go short. They try and play this uh, possession football. Uh, Ken Moore, I reckon that was, or Applin. So players walking past us at the moment. Yeah. About to make a few changes. So that's um, Burns with the kick. Gets it into Applin. So Applin looking short again. He's picked the target out. They've been able to do this with... Four or five passes, but they need to get some penetration yeah. into. They're still not up to the uh, the wing yet. So now he's got to go long, and the kick goes towards half forward. Easy spoil Bang. there over the back for Oliver Graham. And just see out of shot. Just walked out of shot there. Guess who's standing in the centre of the ground? It's Walters. <laughs> 
So he's he's actually got Dane Brand on him. He's about ten metres off. And him he's moment, done well because so. obviously Dane Brand's probably trying to set up to be an option, and it's well done for Walters. Mm. You know, disciplined play, 19 minute mark of the last quarter yep. now. The kick's going to come out. It's just a little bit off the side of the boot. So he's going to be made to work. Gets a good bounce. Now he's got it. Where's he going to look? Little chip pass. That's got a couple of that. players. First one there is uh, Connor Hillcoat, the, uh, the uh, co-captain. But uh, can't keep that ball in just in front of um, Thomas Daniel there. And now we're going to have a uh, boundary throw in. So Golden Grove into attack again. Ball's going to be thrown in just inside 50. Ruckman go at it. Rutai in front. Gets the ball down. Well done by Brand to shark it. Or oh, bounces straight over young Samuel Madigan. So Golden Grove now going to pump this ball right back inside 50. Let's see where it goes. To the hot oh. Big grab. Wow. Big mark taken. Ran about 15 out. Almost directly in front. And this will be an opportunity for them to have a look at their fifth goal of the quarter here. So big grab there from Connor Dodd. He's got the opportunity. Now, how many is he going for? He's got one. He's got two. Three. So he's going for his third, Connor Dodd. So, yeah, straight through the middle. The mark like that deserves a goal every time. So well done to Connor Dodd. He's kicked his third. And at the on the Adelaide Star Bus game clock, we're into 20 and a half minutes on the Sports Interactive scoreboard. It is. That's his fourth, I think. Then. Fourth, actually, for Connor Dodd. Uh, 22, 13, 145 to 3, 3, 21. Yes, well. Uh, we were all a bit short with uh, with our margin. I think you had the biggest, 87, loud. didn't 87, you? 87, yeah. How dare I get it wrong by that much? But uh, I'll tell you what we're not seeing. To the right of us down here and down that end where that goal was kicked, magnificent. The amount of pass players is a huge crowd to yeah, our right 10. here, Vince. So ball in the middle now. Can they get it down forward again? Jeez, he's had a great game as well. Josh Habel, a really good game. Great runner and one-hander there. We talk about the party tricks and uh, that's uh, Ashcroft. So, oh. bobbling around. Hey, we spoke about this. Has He he celebrated a point, one of the best points ever on this ground by Jake Pittman. And, uh, geez, if he get another four goals, he'd be in for a pair of thongs himself. But um, look at the CBC players just walking back there. And uh, Thomas Daniel it is, and a lot of play to the right. So this is what I'm talking about. The structures are all set up to the 50-metre line. If he can run this out and get it over, can't quite, a little bit of a zone set up here. If it bounces here, see, they're out. That's what I'm talking about. They're out now because all the players have come down the ground. Now, Golden Grove are good enough to get this back, but a 50-50 team, that could get down the other end very quickly. Comes out this way. Walter's still putting in. Can he get around... Oh, no left foot. I don't know whether he gets a pair of thongs, Vince. Fair he, he gets two left feet so, for that one. <laughs> nice kick in. And, uh, and well done to young Daniel. You know, yeah. Only uh, uh, 20 years of age. So Is he really? Yeah, he's done well yeah, back there. He and, has. Uh, that's a nice kick out too. Will Strange it is, who oh, just hacks the kick along the wing. Geez, slowly wheeling around on the left and gives it everything. Down towards player there. As he put that down, he has. Poor old Jonathan Wadsworth. It almost came too, early, too easy in the end for him, Vince. And uh, do you reckon we'll get another 28, 29-minute quarter? There might be another two or three in it for Golden Grove. Yeah, here. we'll have to uh, have to see. What have we had? We've had uh, five, five this quarter. What were the 20, 22? So, yeah, five goals this quarter. So, reasonably consistent. I think the, um, the thing that's a little bit disappointing is uh, going down the hill that CBC just haven't been able to... Um, uh, to get any uh, momentum in this quarter whatsoever. Um, completely on top, Golden Grove. Pittman's got it again. Uh, on the left, he's looking to switch, looking for Jeez. Walters. Walters takes the mark. He's going to bring it down the wing. Got to play. Oh, the kick's a little bit wobbly. Didn't quite get to... Oh, big, big uh, uh, bump there by Shepard. Now he's got it. He's Drop dropped it. it. Uh, gets away with that. The Ruckman there, Fernell, gets Walters it backwards. Again. Walters has got it. What's he going to do this time? He has got a left foot. There you go. But yeah. he's, uh, he's kicked it to the opposition. It, he's kicked it to Marchioro. <laughs> Is Marchioro going to have a shot here? Or he's oh. uh, going to be king from right on 50. So Go the screwy. Another another uh, young player. Ex, uh, there's quite a few. Uh, we've said it a few times in the call. Tom Daniel, um, Marchioro, I think Zach Stroud's another one. They're all uh, ex-North Adelaide junior players. So, Marchioro, done well. 
Joe Hansen gave the lead then almost to the man on the mark. <laughs> Here he goes. No, he's not going to get the distance with that kick. It's going to fall short. Punched, uh, still in play. There's an opportunity for... Gabrielli. For Gabrielli, uh, but he's uh, tackled over the boundary line. A little bit slow getting up. Oh, just a bit of a too. lift. Yeah, a bit yep. proppy. Okay, so umpire now going to throw it in. Players running in, Marchi, Marchi Oro Can't quite get there, so just a nice little deft tap down. Can they clear? Free kick given because first of the ball there, because the Golden Grove player. And guess who? It's Pittman again. So now the kick comes out. So it would be nice to see a coast-to-coast. Walters has led right up against the boundary line. This player's just looking inside, taking a long time. So that kick there, it's a 50-50 on any given day, but uh, Golden Grove now running and tackled to the ground. That was a huge tackle, Hable. So you see a rush kick forward here, and ball's just, it's rolled around and stayed in. That's the uniqueness of our football. Golden uh, CBC player takes it towards the boundary. Michael Watkins, that was and umpire will throw it in. This throw-in will be right in front of all the past players there, so umpire has the ball, and you can see the beautiful catch. Oh, dear. Yeah, throw it again, short. son. Yeah. You know why? Slipped because I'm reading the ball. Catch.com.au, screaming, screaming good, good deals, deals all over the ball. Looks like the bladder's half popping out of it, or the, the laces come out, so up it goes, just easily puts it down. Oh, player could have almost been done for throwing the ball or dropping the ball, Pittman. Oh, put a saddle on. Couldn't quite get around. She's oh, pretty Connor scrappy, Dodd. Connor Dodd. Oh, player <laughs> taken down. And umpire says uh, free kick here. And that was Kozlik who's been good. And this bloke's been good too. Retire again. Yeah. And not bad for Ruckman. So inside, he's probably a key position player in any other team. He's yeah. playing Ruck Eddie, but very well put together and... Um, uh, very well coordinated. So out it goes, the far side. They haven't really gone forward. Will Strange it is. And Rutai now has run across, mm. which has left Walters on his own. Look at Walters here. If he drifts down, he's all on his own here. Ball will come his way. Jeez, get hold of that, mate. He's put it right up in the air. There he goes. Highlights package, puts the boot up. Can't take the mark. He's hurt himself. He's hurt the opposition player. The only one left standing is the goal umpire down there, Vince. Yes, so, uh, yeah, Walters uh, got straight into the back of Matthew Raymond there and um, uh, both of them fell uh, heavily from that well. contest, yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens here with this. Uh, uh, it almost done. Look at all the players around the ball again. Oh, ball it's, actually a ball, it's yep. actually a ball up, not a, not a boundary throw-in. So right close to the boundary line. Oh, Pittman, he's lurking again. What's he going to do? Tackled straight away. <laughs> and... Um, doesn't There'll stop, be. does he? You oh. want a four-quarter effort, there's your yeah. player. He's still Siren going at Siren. still going at 100 miles an hour, so like a bulldog, right from the start to the finish. So umpire balls it up again. Up high there, Golden Grove. It's going to be a couple of quick handballs. Ends up with Raymond. Raymond gets it out wide, gets a little bit of clearance, gets a good pick up there by Will Strange, but he's uh, right next to the boundary line, and that's going to be taken over. We'll have another boundary throw in, I think. Uh, 27 minutes here on the Adelaide Star Bus game clock. Have a look around the ball. They've got Shepard there. They've got Josh Hables in there. They've got uh, Pittman in there. There's Hable there, there with there's Hable the tap. the tap. Well, in fact, it was Hable taking the tap right next to him was... Uh, Samuel Wrench and, and CBC again, just no one uh, there to uh, contest the ruck, uh, the ruck contest. Yep, and uh, have a look at uh, the backman here, Connor Dodd. Well, he's not a backman, he's kicked four. He's, he's still on his own here, but it's going to be a big kick. If anyone can kick it, this bloke can, Jake Pittman. So he's kicked three, throws the ball in the air. You see the uh, lace hanging out of the ball there, so I hope the bladder doesn't come out. <laughs> Anyway, he's uh, just waltzing in. He oh, he goes short. Oh, no, he kick a seven-pointer. Oh, player on his own. Oh, it didn't take Left the mark. Gives it out. Guess what? Shut. Connor Dodd, he drifted out there all on his own. Jeez, they get on to him. And, yeah, free kick. Well done. And this player, another one, Dane Brand. Yep, tried hard in the back line. Yeah, a bit slow to get up there is Dodd. So, just on the right boot. Jeez, you don't want an injury at this point in the game. Yep. Up high, right in front of the commentary position. Around the corner he goes and... He's done well too, young uh, Marchioro. So in it comes. Jonathan Wadsworth runs onto it, pops it inside 50. We'll call that an inside 50, but uh, we'll also call that an outside 50 as number 26. What's happened here, Nicholas Preston, in uh, back play bundles it over? 
So uh, Michael Walters with six goals, I reckon, would be looking at a pair of thongs. Nick, probably about a size 11 or 12. Take a couple out, mate. So you can hear in the back, I had six goals, four. Six so goals, four I had for final, Michael Walters. I think uh, Nick final, will be searching for him. Yeah, and final uh, score, 22 goals, 14, 146. Well, that's what the scoreboard says. So three goals, three, <laughs> 21. So that's 125, and I make it. They kicked three yeah. goals, two in the second quarter. And one point for the rest of the game. Well, two, uh, two. Well, that's right. Uh, one quarter with a point, and two quarters with no score. And uh, they finished up there with um, five goals, four to uh, no score in that last quarter to uh, take the margin out by that 34 points from 91 to 125. So, uh, big, big win here to Golden Grove. Just what they would have been looking for. Um, very young side out for uh, CBC with uh, quite, a, quite a few younger players. So they're, they're uh, trying to build something for uh, what they've got to come forward. And we we'll just, cover uh, a bit of that in, yeah. in a moment after we do the presentation here. We'll, uh, we'll go through maybe some of the players that stood out for each team. And it was a good even spread for uh, Golden Grove. And, of course, we've also got some stats. And uh, as we keep mentioning, the past players down here on the right, they'll be very happy. Eric Kells, the coach, just walking past us. And uh, I, I think the big thing, Vince, is they're preparing for next week to get through a game like this without injuries as well. Yep. Very important. Big win. And it'll be totally different next week. And Nick's just down there with uh, the winner, Michael Walters, who kicks six goals. And we'll cross over and have a listen to the Archie Thongs winner. The game, Michael Walters. I'll tell you what, a strong performance all round today. What was the talk going into the game that got you playing so well? Um, I think obviously it's a big day for the club, so I think all the boys are pretty up and about for that, and um, yeah, pretty much. That's it. Uh, now, six goals for yourself. Wow. Um, we're, we're talking about it during uh, the broadcast about your run up and how far it is. Talk us through the mechanics of it. Um, I've been working on the run up for a while because my golfing's a bit hit and miss, um, so just give myself a bit more room and. Yeah, trying to stick to a routine, so, yeah. Didn't have to today, though. I still kicked a few points, but... I've got one more left for you. Um, so talk about um, playing on a day like today for this club. Yeah. Oh, I've been here since a junior, so I've been a little kid running around watching a grades years ago, so, yeah, it's a big day for me, and a lot of these boys were juniors growing up, so, yeah, massive day for us, boys. Well played by yourself. I'll see you next week. Thanks. Yeah, so well done there to... Uh to our boundary rider and our player of the day, Michael Walters. Six goals, four, we made it that uh, he ended up with. Just uh, trying on uh, to see if we've got a pair of thongs that might uh, might suit him there, and we'll uh, grab a photo. But, uh, Tony, let's go through some of those stats in the last quarter and throughout the day. Yeah, we'll, we will go to them just very quickly. What he's actually getting there is a pair of Archie thongs. Archie thongs, thongs of and course. They are what we call comfy. super comfy, and I've got a pair for each day of the week Vince in every colour but uh, well done there so if we look at the stats as they come off there'll be a huge round of applause here big win but uh, inside 50s were 18 to 7 in that last quarter yep. 69 to 34 so massive massive, massive. double yeah. Uh, over, yeah so double and a bit if my maths are right the tackling well 11 to Golden Grove that quarter 22 to CBC yep. which really says Golden Grove had a lot of the yeah. ball because that was double. Uh, but for the for the game, 60 to Golden Grove, 64 to CBC. Yeah. So you normally so get the, that the anomaly. So there. Yes, and the you get that there. anomaly because that means the opposition had the ball a yeah. lot. Um, ruck taps, 70 to 17. And that's the big one, that first use out of the yeah. middle. Uh, and with those ruck taps, it was 20 to 2 in the last quarter. So Fernell... Uh, Simon Wrench, of course, um, and at other times they had a couple other big players come in and help. And, you know, really, Jonty Rutai, who, who did a good job around the ground for CBC, and we saw at times the captain coach, Carl Harris. Yeah, doing all the ruck the work in the forward line, yeah. To do the ruck work as well. So, Cam, we thank you very much for those uh, uh, stats today. And you see the trend. Well, we asked for some trends, but uh, you There's can see in the last there. quarter with the inside 50s. G, 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 G. <laughs> we thought there might have been five or six in a row, but there's about 12 in a row, you yeah, know, in yeah. there. So let's get on to uh, 
some of the more pressing things here, Vince? The goal scorers? Have you got goal scorers? Uh, yeah, well, I think we've captured all of them here. Obviously, Walters led the day with uh, with six goals. We had uh, Dodd with four. Uh, I got Wrench with three. Pittman, three. A uh, couple to Barnell early in the first quarter. And uh, and then singles I had to Habel, Ashcroft, Cat Gro Cockgrove, sorry, and Shenton. Yep. I think I've covered all of them off. Uh, and only the three goal scorers, of course, the two to the uh, coach Carl Harris in the second quarter, as well as the one goal late in the second quarter to young Marchioro. All right. And if we look at CBC, as you said, a lot of young players. I look at some of their better players. Uh, Gabrielli at times, number one. Matthew Raymond, he, uh, yeah. yes, he did get sent off, but he, he had a bit of a yeah. go there. Number two. I reckon one of their best would have to be John T. Uh, Ruto. But uh, it was just three. interesting. I mean, he was really competitive and actually did well in the ruck. It's just very strange how so many times they uh, they didn't actually have anyone competing. So yes. some sort of mix up there. A at all. Yeah. Uh, 19, Nathan Burns at times. Dane Brand, number 23. Down back. Yep. You'd expect down back. Joe Hannison was really good, especially that third quarter. I've got a couple, two or three dots next to him. Applin at times, but faded out. Um, uh, probably the most Ma consistent was Aaron Marchioro. And who I thought um, young Thomas Daniel uh, did well down back as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was just going to say with Marchioro, yeah. he, he persisted a lot in the first yeah. half, didn't he get a lot of touches, hard. but he just kept... And then he got rewarded because he got better and better and he, they put him in the middle. Mate, if we come across the Golden Grove... I, I think just, it's a, almost a case of all played so, well. Yeah, Shepard... Especially his last three quarters, number one, yep. very solid. Yep. Um, he was the link-up player through the Jake, middle. Jake Pittman, Rowan Shenton, his yep. third quarter was really good. Jake Pittman was outstanding for four quarters. Walters, of course, BOG. Habel, geez, you could have Coming put a pair a of half, thongs across every back. one of them. Yeah. Very good through there. Connor Dodd chipped in with four goals. Yep. Uh, Koslick in the yeah. second half was very good. Um, then... Josh Ingram, Ingram had yeah. a very good first half. Didn't yeah. he was still around it in the second yeah. half, but not as uh, productive. Yep. Yeah. Um, Luke Barmby, outstanding. Uh, uh, get it off of, off of half. <laughs> yeah, back, himself yeah. and Habel. Yeah. Um, and then Wrench. Samuel Wrench with dominated the, in the ruck. Well, him and um, three goals. Uh, yeah, that's right. So not only did he do some ruck work there, Sam Wrench, he uh, absolutely dominated with Simon Fernell in the ruck. I mean, seventy hit outs to to seventeen or. What the, whatever the final count was, they were yeah, uh, they were massive. totally dominant, weren't they? Now, of course, folks, if you're still tuning in, uh, beautiful, Eddie. We could have another quarter, Eddie. If it's yeah, magnificent that picture with the, there. Yeah. Um, head over to the Division 1 game or uh, sorry, the Adelaide Footy League Facebook page at 5 o'clock because uh, Phil will be putting all the results up there. Now, of course, uh, I won't be with you guys next week. I'm up doing the other game, but uh, you guys have got... Huge game next week for we a community do. game. We Flinders do. Park. We uh, get Golden to see Golden Grove. Grove again. So we're well versed on the on the team in uh, in green. It's going to be the team in red that uh, we'll get to see next week. And also, uh, so their big day was today at yep. Golden Grove, which uh, Luke Kel, uh, Eric Kell, sorry, talked about that pre game. Yep. what happens inside the white line and put that up as one of the keys. Now next week it's uh, Flinders Park's. Um, 10-year anniversary premiership yep. anniversary four teams of course uh, we won't encourage it but Jack O Sean our, Jackson our, our own, own Sean Jackson that's was right was the coach back in the day so he'll be uh, down there but you guys will be down there that will be an absolute oh, yeah. belter of a game yep. next week the community game so get around that of course between the posts is on on the Facebook page through the week there'll be content going up we've got a 400 game player today from another club we've got today we've got the marks and goals and so on Vince so there's a, a huge week coming up once again with our between the posts and our game day commentary indeed indeed so let's uh, let's go through uh, some of our um, some of our uh, sponsors uh, and thank our uh, uh, our sponsors for the day so our boundary rider uh, Nick great job well done yeah. again uh, brought to us by Villies taste the difference with Villies we love them I'll tell you what, Vince, he's getting a little bit uh, a little bit better every week, hey, but uh, he's in around he, the huddles. I, I reckon, that's right, I reckon to get some scoops, he is the, he is the yeah. news hound, let's get some scoops from him I've right out uh, got an in old, front of the game. Got an idea, I've got an old Flinders Park Premiership jumper from 1985 in the Seagrade, I'll give it to him next week and he can pretend he's one of the players <laughs> and just stand <laughs> in the huddle <laughs> with the microphone. How will he go with one of those old woolen jumpers, they will yeah, stick it to might. the skin out today. 
our uh, our, our moves else? and interchanger with regards to uh, the other information from Nick brought to us by interchanger. Uh, our scores brought to us by Sports Interactive. Creating better players one coach at a time. Our game clock uh, by oh. Adelaide Starbus. Replays were brought to us by Dartfish, Australia's most used coaching tool. Our post game now brought to us by catch.com.au. Screaming good, good deals. deals. Our broadcast also brought to us by Filming Footy, live filming and match day specialists. And of course, our player of the day, Michael Walters, got his magnificent pair of Archie's Archie Super thongs. Comfy Thongs. Two left foots, one size 9, one size 11, a grey one and a green one. And uh, hopefully that'll improve his goal kick. He did no, mention about his goal kick. Now, well done, six goals, four. He's worked uh, well. Heap of the ball. And so thanks to Cam on our stats. Thanks to James, our cameraman upstairs, giving him a wave. To Tim, our uh, magnificent producer, well played. And on behalf of uh, Nick... Our boundary rider and my co-commentator, Tony Neal. Thank you, Vince. Well played again. Thank you all for watching and listening. And we will be at Flinders Park for an absolute corker at 2 o'clock next Saturday. See you all then.